Okay, family, a warm welcome and um, greetings from the Then and Now Media Empire. Today, Sunday, 11, 2021, me now on a host and presenter, Prince Emil Koma, the come to a live on this uh, particular special day with a very special program with very special guests. Today with me for understand certain things that will be go on, both in the then, the now, and marching into the future, are three gentlemen. When I say gentlemen, did you hear the emphasis? Gentlemen, in presence of Mr. Adams Bangura, lawyer Ahmed Sise, and Mr. Imran Khan. These people then, when it comes to analysis, perspective, comments, views, you can't fault them on the social media platform. So they were carefully chosen today on a very delicate topic for can help we for understand certain, certain things them which is ongoing. At the center of this conversation tonight, today, this morning, this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very, very special person now the Republic of Sierra Leone. And when I say special, again, I mean, the, I mean the word very, very special. You all will have seen the flyers over the past week. You all will have seen the title by now, those of you who don't join, and the one that we get for join later. The person waiting at the center of this conversation today is a decorated Sierra Leonean in many, many respects. Wow. Okay, now hold on for me, please. I hope say Adams, I'm mute. Oh, okay, you just to come. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Right. Okay, now just one of the guests need for come back in. We've been on calm. I think say he left. And I know we really pay attention to that, but obviously we need for let him in. So definitely, me I just jump. I hope say uh, not be um, um, the off track. So that guest obviously is back and we are ready to go as Abine say. So the person we at the very center of this conversation, this evening, this afternoon, this morning, hopefully wherever in the uh, world you day, is none other but a decorated Sierra Leonean. A woman we don't shatter glass ceiling. Imagine we live in a male dominated society but some time ago, this particular woman on shatter glass ceilings. She's made a mark on the local and international scene. The person we will talk about today is none other but Dr. Sylvia Olayinka Walmina Orishola Blinded. An only name now also. <laughs> this woman is a very, very powerful Sierra Leonean politician. And not only stop at being politician because when you accomplish, it means that there are other disciplines that will fall under your wing as well. She's a professional and accomplished um, journalist. She's a, she's a political and social media commentator. And in a, a newspaper publisher, and one of the few, if not the only woman, will own a newspaper publishing house in the Republic of Sierra Leone. We need to understand that this man also in various capacities within government and outside government, don't represent government inward and outward, and she's well decorated. But like I say, I can't continue with this well decoration without looking at the now because we're talking about the then, we want to reflect on the now. So on the now, there are many issues of late which has become contentious which many people in not raise issues as to where are we heading? Where is Dr. Sylvia Blinden is, Usa is stand? Is it about principle or is it an unprincipled moment? Is it about going forward? Is it about compromises? Is it about many other things that supposed for unite other than disunite a people and a country? For let me understand this again today, like I said, we get three very powerful guests well-spoken, well-articulate, well-learned, and accomplished gentlemen there with me. Um, lawyer Ahmed um, Sisi, um, Brother Adams Bangura, and Brother Imran Ture, welcome to the Den Announcers. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I think so we don't spend enough time on the introduction on this very decorated woman for a very specific reason. We all know the battlegrounds 
the lines are out there are drawn. They are drawn on sand, so therefore they keep shifting. But when it comes to Dr. Olayinka Blyden, an accomplished Sierra Leonean just in the introduction, Adams, where are you? Your party is in trouble because Dr. Olayinka Blyden seems for them to pull the sword out and ready for a fight. What say you, uh, Mr. Adams Mangura? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Prince. And, um... To my colleague panelists here, yeah, um, good evening and good evening to the viewers out there. Um, firstly, I can just make a quick um, disclaimer here because um, after when, when the flyers um, went out, there was this debate in certain quant uh, uh, certain quarters that um, it's an all male panel against <laughs> a woman. So there were people there terming it as the manette kind of a thing. Um, it is yeah. absolutely nothing to do with one's particular sex. It's nothing about sexism or men ganging up against a particular woman or a powerful woman. So let it be known out there. It has absolutely, um, where appearance on this planet has nothing to do with her sex other than uh, for us to come here as Sierra Leoneans and also as members, some of us, as members of the APC party who are equally concerned for discuss some of them burning issues that are way they of public interest. Um, so going to the question where you ask as to where we stand as a party, firstly, we have to acknowledge that she's one of us. Um, we cannot take that away from her. But her, like so many other people, whether within the APC party or any other forum where you disagree with, you can forget people where you disagree with, you get people away for whatever reasons, then get the principles, you will always get some form of disagreement with them. Like myself here and probably uh, my co-panelists here, there are people within our party where then get, we get to a form of disagreement based on principles and based on other things. That's where I think, say, I cannot be compromised based on my particular stand on certain issues, regardless of how somebody else may want to interpret it. So there comes the issue of um, Sylvia Blighting. Um, she's an exceptional person, um, brilliant, her excellence. Um, she's a go-getter, she's a fighter. You can give it to her. Uh, on a personal note, I have a personal relationship with her. But when it comes to certain things lately that she has done, I get a bit of a variance with her. Um, there are some things that she has done where um, if it's about calling for reforms and so many other things within the APT, APT party, I share in that that we are calling for all of that. But somehow reforms do take time. Um, there have been times when other people were calling for reform, the pace at which they were going um, at a particular time when she was not in support of that particular call, she spoke against it. She spoke against them. Like when NRM started and so many other things, she came out, she spoke against, the speed, the pace at which they were going. This was when she was in a good relationship with the leadership of the party. And now this is where she and I, we tend to disagree on so many internal issues. Uh, one thing that I have learned in my um, time in politics um, for the time where I don't remain active in politics, now that I do not stand on issues based on convenience. If I want to stand on issues, I have to be sure of them. I should be convinced that these issues that I'm standing on, I am not only there because I want to be comfortable probably with my brother Ahmed there or with my brother Imran. So I get for stand by them. And then when I so do fall out with them, and then I take a back stand and say, no, uh, no, this has to be done this way. This is where she and I, we have disagreed within the APC party as to 
how certain things should be done. Uh, like I said, when our NRM were pushing for reforms, of course she was. Um, she is also for reform, but the pace at which they were going, she was against it. She spoke against them at length. Um, she was brought in as a member of um, the fact-finding um, committee or the constitutional review committee. Um, at some point, she was made, I think, uh, a secretary to the committee or so. Uh, whatever happened along the line, um, she resigned her position or she wasn't um, a member going forward um, within that committee. And unfortunately, she fell out with the leadership of the party. And somebody may want to know how did that happen? When the reform, when the party lost elections, um, they set up a committee for investigate as to the reasons we lead to um, um, the demise uh, with, with the, us losing the election. She brought a couple of suggestions to the leadership of the party, including NAC. Um, by then, the SPP party began to go after the leadership of the APC party ferociously. <coughs> Sylvia was there defending the party. We must give it to her. She defended the leadership of the party. And knowing the kind of policy way it be, the leadership of NAC, they meet, and then and give reasons as to why she should be co-opted to NAC. She was brought in. Whatever happened along the line, she was disinvited. And from that moment that she got disinvited, now did the issues begin. The day okay. the issues begin. Okay. Um, Brother, Brother Adams, I really want to be very thankful to you because you've taken the lead in this particular conversation in many respects. Because exactly the way this conversation is meant to be driven, that's the end you seem to be taking the conversation. And for this, I appreciate, especially with the disclaimer. So let me just add for add to one or two things with the brother just say, if I can permit me, please. Okay, it's a bit of a digression, but all the same, the same. So it's not meant to be an all female panel. Um, I mean, an all male panel. It was meant to be diverse. We tried very hard, including Dr. Sylvia Olayinka Blyden. An official invitation, I will call her, even how informal it, it was, was sent to her for invite them because obviously this conversation will center around them. So it, it will only be fair enough that in self self appear. But Fambulem, I want to tell you say, Dr. Blyden respectfully declined the offer and said, no, it's not time yet for Lai appear, especially on the then and now platform. Okay? She declined respectfully for appear. There were many other females then who we approached for letting them appear on the program because we know we want this exact conversation for go the way how brother um, um, Adams described them because people they approach them, including myself. But at the background, we tried, we really tried. Okay. All the females then where we approached, either they were disinterested for one reason or the other. Some of them mainly. APC people, them, APC women, them, and they know because some of them are watching the program here tonight. They say, this is an issue we've been on to talk about for a long time, what we try to avoid. And so toxic is this situation that we want for left hand. So as such for now. And I did not appreciate that because I've been feeling it's a conversation that will be held and we need for talk. So family, I just want for let you understand that. On the issue of um, the title, an unstable genius, Brother Adams again don't help. The issue of stability, why we mention um, the uh, um, title, is what the brother just don't explain to me. So now we understand at some point, Dr. Sylvia supported and then she unsupported, supported again and unsupported. So if you are unstable, simply it means that you are not firm, that you are not steady, that you get the potential for change. Such was the reason why we use the terminology and the brother just don't confirm that. But there are many other things for let me discuss. Make I just go quickly to brother Imran. Brother Imran, you are waiting all um, um, brother um, Adams Bangura don't say. Very, very much touching, profound, articulate, and to the point. But another brilliant mind as you are, here is the thing. Dr. Sylvia Blyden, 
is titled in this particular program to be an unstable genius. And if we should accept that she's an unstable genius, I will ask you the question, why? And if we say you're not unstable, the question will still be, um, why? But the main body of this question, brother Imran, is when Dr. Sylvia uh, Blyden, a very powerful woman, pull his sword and say she's going at war with you, generally, your party, you are in trouble. Isn't that so, sir? Well, first and foremost, um, I'm not there in a privileged position for say to anybody, say I know Sylvia personally. I've never met with her. And um, I just want to make that disclaimer there. So I not get any close contact with them or get any conversation with them at any time, ever, never. But um, me to talk from a point as a spectator, from waiting at the sea out there, waiting at the area, how he be comport himself and all that. And just like how the brother, brother Adams talk, you know, in politics, you get people that win are politicians, them of convenience and politician of, um, of conviction. And um, from waiting with sister, the show now, yeah, it looked like for say, now one of convenience and convenience get things like emotions. When he, emotions change, he views the change. Yes, we know say mortal man, we are uh, dynamic because we change, because we change by physique, we change by growth, we change by age, we change as in political persuasion. But um, you see, I can always tell people they say, anywhere where you go on this earth, there are rules. And then rules, then they, they not did it by accident. Then they, they follow, we follow them like a fine tooth comb. This woman, a doctor, even when you be a doctor, you get ethics. That is, lay down rules the way you get for fella. My brother away, then at the other chair, um, lawyer Adam, um, lawyer Ahmed Sise, go clearly help me here. Any time where people get issue for going to court, they can always ask before you make the complaint, if you don't exhaust your internal complaint procedures. I don't know if she's done all of that, but um, you see the APC party get a term when they use comrade. The word comrade, a researcher, I find out for say, it mean um, mate, it mean ally, it mean, you know, your body. But the word itself come from a Spanish origin. We mean comrada. We simply mean the same thing. You know, somebody who not in the same room, you chamber mate. That is somebody who not in the same law firm, Somebody where you're you very affiliated with. If this person you call and come you get for not for call the word loosely, you get for call them with the meaning. So if Sylvia na a comrade, now a member of that party, they call other people in comrade. You know when they call people in comrade, you old dagger na the back of your hand. Where everything happened, you go jump out there, begin to spill out like beans. You know, they do that. You go try for engage with other people them, thereby uphold the complaint procedures and do them in-house. Because even at law, that's what they normally encourage us to do. If you care a company go for um, 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 any kind of inappropriate dismissal, then go ask you if you do a formal complaint within the organization itself. And then go even ask if you exhaust all the complaint procedures. But you know how they play football, but my brother, you wear your vest. You just score against you, your player. Maria, you know how they do that. Do me feel that? to say she is a very intelligent woman. He gets a lot of potential. But what did they do? You know, they really, they harm the party. Now, instead of the harm, because it is show instead for even worth. Because at the end of the day, in any political environment, not everybody will like you. Not everybody will dislike you. But um, as me and Mr. Adams agree, 
if you're not a politician of conviction, you go believe in what you believe in. You go fight that belief day, but you go fight them within the rule of law. You not go try for, as they say, for fix your own party. Then in the process, you throw the baby with the bad water. And especially at this time where Sierra Leone politics is really, really volatile, it really day in, in, in a way where, you know, everybody within the opposition so Mr. Ture, to come together. So Mr. Ture, if I can yes. pause you there and try to take this to um, lawyer Wuri, because it seems like there are two approaches from your end in which you they fault them and ask for the public to decide anyway, which is A, um, it can decide for taking fat legitimately or on a moral ground, it need for consider say in a comrade, I like all the definition, definitive article the way you give them, waiting it mean for be a comrade and how a comrade can take things go forward. Lawyer Ahmed, here is the thing, here is the thing, sir. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sylvia, According to the other two guests that we speak before you, um, don't do something we potentially not right. But Adams Bangura say, Sylvia get a personal relationship with her. Suffice me for you know reference back to what the brother say because I try to create some emphasis on the question where I want for take um, to you. But on the basis of principle, it differ with them. This is not a real principle. You not be paddy, but something the way you say, not so because me not be paddy, go make her go along with you. With what Imran to it, in say, if in research properly, comradeship, within a comradeship, in other words, partyism, we all in a society, we don't agree to certain things. And then you seem for the deviate away from that agreement. My question to you, um, um, Mr. Lawyer to it, I mean, um, CC. I get a right for differ, even though me and you na comrade if you want for like refer and to as such. Because if I'm not happy with waiting to go inside, uh, go on on the inside, it's not, not binding. I can differ. But at the beginning for understand, say, well, we can resolve with differences on the inside rather than the outside. But the bottom line, the question I posed to the previous two is the sword of sister um, or doctor Sylvia is out. And see she's waging a war against Una Party, and this is not going down well. Where do you stand, Brother uh, uh, Ahmed, with this ongoing feud where Sister Blyden don't seem for unleash on the party, like Brother Imran see, at a very critical time in this particular calendar? And they talk about politically speaking, sir. Um, first of all, sorry for taking you back. The the I don't know if I'm a device. I know they see me co panelists them. Is it usual or I'm a device? I know they see me co panelists them. Oh, you know they see you know they see them. No. Oh, okay. They are very much present, and uh, there are okay. ways we can do. I'll to do something quickly. Let's see whether you see them because probably you are watching live on Facebook. That's why you know they see them. And maybe in the <laughs> next thirty seconds, one minute. Do you see them now? Okay, no, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah, but well, you are live. The most important thing, you are okay. live. Then they hear you, and I believe okay. they will see you. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Um, first of all, for La Getty Record Streets, Dr. Sylvia Online Cap Blinding, no get issue with we party. You know, get problem with APC. Within Dr. Online Cap Blinding, they do now. Within everybody, they do. The only thing maybe in key articulator and further. Now, waiting NRM don't do legally, we then take in a court for say this party, this illegal, this is not legal. For say this illegitimate, this is in, this is not legit. So the issue now is he pick up a fight, he get an issue with the leader. And it's sad because this topic before this program they can at the air. Uh, Dr. Blyden is my is a very, very good uh, uh, friend of mine. Uh, so because of this, like waiting, Mr. Teresa earlier, there are multiple approach to disputes, but this the moral aspects within the mediation. 
So maybe don't take the mediation path for call them and try for hold them because I know they look at me know they look at the, the, the substance of the claims. I they look at the moral aspects and she's wrong. I they look at from the, the, the whole concept of law is stemmed from, 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 from canon laws, from religious background, from, from morals. Okay. So me they look at from that aspect, I say, okay, please cease fire. Whatever you know, gets problem with you, big one. You know the pull and a treat. I say, and you claim so you they lay say na people and that na we lead that they send people and for course you. I say I want let you see. I say judging by your video, I don't know if na sixteen or your audio sixteen or or seventeen. I am not sure. I say you talk one very important word. Say in two thousand eight, when pres when President Kuma ascend to the throne. You say they arrest you, not to so. I say you say they detain you. You say, but later on, you talk to President Kuma. President Kuma say, he not send nobody for detain you. He not send nobody for arrest you. I say, you believe at that time, say, now to not person take them on a frolic of their own. I say, leadership get one thing. Even though they so a lot of things where they happen, I can assure you, say, not to President, be you the sanctioner. People, they take up on their own volition for please the leadership, hoping that it will be good ears to the leadership and they will promote them or will give them other role. I say, so you get, you get them people in there. I say, so if you believe then, say, it wasn't present, Koma, we send them people in there. I say, you're not, your mission is not to condemn and seal and wreck and, and, and totally kill in a relationship with President Koma. You are aggrieved. And where there is grievance, there must be resolutions. In all we go to a level where they say this what I don't pass Gary. So I'm not going to delve on the substance of the case because are they on the mediation path? Okay. But I did talk on some of the issues them with Dr. Sylvia Blyden raised. Okay. With regards to the title, whether unstable genius or, inst or instability, you see, if we they talk to a doctor as a medical doctor, yes, it's a big question. There is bound to be consistency in a profession. But with pol politics is synonymous with inconsistency and instability. Then they change every church in say 24 hours. It's a long time in politics for let politician no change. So it's always uh, consistent with politicians uh, for say this today and tomorrow then change. Okay, so that is not like a derogatory word where if you say when they say unstable, if now unstable genius, but for the records, it no get problem with the party because there is a, leg a legal route for aggrieved parties in political parties. Okay, the political parties act. 2002 make a clear provision in section 6d say every member the job of pprc if you aggrieved by the conduct of a political party or a decision made by a political party or if you say the constitution or any instrument contravene the national uh, uh, dictates of reconstitution pprc can come for mediate any conflict or dispute between or among the leadership of uh, the political party. So if you get a problem with me, if you go to PPRC, PPRC be for mediate, okay? Even though that's a big question these days because even the Alfred P. Conte case would have been for be a perfect case for let PPRC say, mm, before you go to court, can't do it, but that's a debate for another day. So. She doesn't have issues with us in the APC like a political party because even if we don't make her known, it, 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 like any other people they only talk on social media, he say by your own authority, by your own waiting things, say we know we know uh, uh, the legitimate, uh, the, the chairman and the executive, then time don't prorogue. But is it timely at this time? These are the issues where I know say okay for camp. You understand? Then two, Absolutely. some of the issues that way they pick right now in terms of the censors, in terms of this, if they give them credence, is it counterproductive? Okay. So, but for that answer, you question straight, straight. 
it not get issue with we as a political party the last time I checked. Okay. okay. It get issue with the leader. So now with the leader and we some of us think she's wrong, she cannot go on and on and spill out what we consider as privilege or secret information to the public. I think morally it is wrong. And some of us are in thick and thin for mediate for put a stop to that. Thank you very much. I think the good thing about this panel here tonight is these are, this is a particular panel made up of intellectuals. We can think far outside of the box and very critical in terms of their thinking. This is why I love this panel. And Fambulela just remind you again today, the 11th of April on a Sunday, 2021, this now the then and now media empire where they bring to Una, the caption is Dr. Sylvia Olayinke blinded and unstable genius and what is her game plan? We don't hear the first salvo, the opening of the three pan, uh, panelists that we will get, we will um, um, do this talking here tonight. And so far, I'm sure we are not disappointed. Before I go to you, Imwa, let me come to um, um, Adams Bangura. You are waiting, lawyer, um, who we say. Um, Sylvia seems to be aggrieved, but even if she uh, aggrieved, there is a process to which she's supposed to take that aggrievement day too. It appear as if she's not done that. But lawyer Wuri believes say, um, Sylvia no get issues with the party, and it sounds really technical. And when a lawyer they talk, you get for be careful. I make them can tell you, zip it up, because if you follow them, you end up in trouble. So Sylvia no get issues with the party. In other words, now other things that I Sylvia get problem with. But if we can go back to Iman with the Iman say earlier on, me and you a society member. Inside our society, now so we don't say we go go forward. Then if you come on inside our society, then you go begin a black outside. That means something will happen from the inside. And if you're not able to resolve it from the inside, then you are deceiving the inside and the poor story will come on the inside. We're supposed to be secret to the outside. Is Dr. Sylvia Blind then poss possibly potentially guilty of that kind of thing? Because now two things, uh, uh, um, Mr. Bangura the ultimate side and the moral side. So I want to let you look at from that perspective day from the mouth of lawyer Wui. I mean MCC, sorry. Um, thank you. Thank you again, um, 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 Prince. Um, I, I appreciate the fact that um, I'm sharing a platform with um, uh, somebody when I big brother and also a, a mentor. But um, however, I want for you know, respectfully differ um, with me, brother um, Ahmed, a little bit. Um, also, I appreciate the fact that, say, um, he's on a mediation path. So I definitely do see where he's coming from. You know, he get for thread on a, you know, on a line way, he go able for, you know, for get his clean, uh, clean slate out of um, um, the, the effort way the try for, for foster. Uh, that while Sylvia may have issues with um, the leader and chairman, according to what my brother said, but I also believe um, that um, it's not just the leader and chairman that he gets issues with. If you listen to in audio, I think it's audio 015, where she made certain comments there um, about even the Secretary General of the party, where you they find out, say, she's got issues with the leadership of the party. And if you get issues with the leadership of the party, by extension of the party, you get issues with. Until that happened, until the things that were you the fight for, um, you see, say, they are resolved then you do not have issues with them anymore. Because otherwise, you're not being get reason for make a support the action of Alfred um, Conte, where he get for take the party to court again for the second time. When she was initially against the actions of NRM, when they took the party to court. You understand? You cannot be against one, and then suddenly you are for another. You know, there is, there is a conflict there. There's a conflict there. And if you say you get personal issues with 
um, people where you say um, they are your uncles, your mentors, or you have a very good relationship with them. Like um, Ayman said, and also which Ahmed Aloto, there are ways that you can settle your personal issues with them people lending. But when you make them about the party, you say um, with them people they have been at the helm of the party, they are going to be blackmailed. She made series of allegations on documents that we say it don't come across during the course of the commissions of inquiry that are to be used to blackmail either the chairman and uh, the chairman and leader. Yeah. And in her audio, she made specific reference to a certain Indian bank of which she alleges that Yansane gets a relationship with. That is, uh, these, these are key party people. When you talk about the leadership, you talk about the chairman and the secretary of the party. Neither of them can do without the other. So if you don't talk this kind of about them, there are internal redress mechanism where we think, see, when you are privy to some of them things there, damning as they may seem, I don't think say, it was meant for everybody. You understand? If the chairman and leader does not give you audience, the secretary does not give you audience, there are other people. It get people where they are not, where it get personal respect with, where you could tell them, say, I have come across X, Y, Z. I've spoken to these people, but neither of them seem to be listening to me. And I do not want to go public with some of them details there. You understand? But now going public, you not only risk for bring the party into dispute, but also the people who they lead the party. Because then people I get for find a way, either by them directly or through their surrogate for make them begin defend them. So this is what we are seeing now, the back and forth. Like Ahmed say, some of their um, actions there, they may not have been sanctioned by the people that we see their um, get issues with, if, if it's a personal issues with them, but also now their surrogates are also taking out from themselves for making themselves defend the people who they think they, they believe in. So this is where we are getting the back and forth between them and the series of audios that are ongoing. So the extent that something we get for do with, and there are things people do not forgive about. I don't know, and I, I do not speak for neither Anes or or or, or Yansane in this situation. Me to speak as a comrade of the APC party. There are red okay. lines, and one of which for okay. me is when you cross my family, when issues get for do with my family, you cross that, that's a red line. Right. That's a red line. Okay. Um, Imran, you hear that? For um, Mr. Bangura, obviously there is a red line. For lawyer Wuri, of course, I just understand that it is in a mediating capacity so probably he's been very generous and economical. Normally, with a normal self, I go, you know, yeah, approach issues. And I'm just saying this based on the conversation here tonight because myself, they begin to understand certain things that are ongoing. But back again to the subject of Siri, just before I pose my question to you, Fambulem, this is not the then and now media empire they come to Una, who they ask Una for let Una be generous enough for share this conversation, share the video. Don't be selfish. The national conversation is on. It is on. If you not be part of them, you will be left behind. If you are part of them, you are making history. So join the conversation and share. Let others then be part of them, so they don't be told. First and primary information is necessary. What are two? You are no, you are no personal confidant of Dr. Sylvia Olayinka Blinden, but you are definitely a stakeholder within um, the party. I suppose no, no, all of your credential. And certainly enough as a Sierra Union. Would I hear about Bangua just now? The way how we put them cleanly. And this is why I love this panel. Independent minded people, despite the friendship, the relationship, but we beg for differ on the basis of principle. You can't have it better than this. So, what Bangua has got a red line. If you offend me, family, will we will not agree on something, their principle set. Then definitely you're not my friend. 
because you're spilling or you they wash dirty linen out in public. That's offensive, if I know. Lawyer Wu, uh, she say, is generous, like I say, and say, we get for try for understand. I don't think say a get problem with the party, but if we understand both sides, definitely there is a problem. And Dr. Sylvia Blyden, it don't begin the war. She's got videos out there. She's got references out there. Particular ones there, skating attack, finger pointing, circumstantial, physical, where we go come to later, we show or tell the story otherwise. Give you JPEG. In other words, squeeze them for we and unpack them, waiting that you take on all of this. I'll ask you a specific question, Imran, and I guess say yeah. you understand them. I get you, my dear brother. Thank you. You know, I find a behavior very treacherous as it is at this point in time. I cannot agree with Brother Adams more. Obviously, there's a red line. For me, who's the red line come? Now, the facts say this stage, Nasiradium history, is very crucial. We get a government where they batter the, the, the constitution, left, right, and center, where we're supposed to keep an eye on. This is not an issue. Don't attempt this for beginning a bit APC. This is the time for prop APC. Let APC be in a good footing for put a proper opposition for defend the people of Sierra Leone. If you become at this crucial time, they can begin the probe into your leadership. They weaken them. They try for give excuses to the people and where they empower, where they misuse the people them, they kill the people them. They try for impose censors. Where they don't need because as brother Adam said, Naya, look recently, there was a consortium of all um, uh, 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 um, opposition parties together. When I APC the leader for try to stop them, because right now, when you look at things, this is not a priority. And the constitution say every 10 years, at this time, what people are not get water for drink, at this time, the school stem they punch under their weight because where you they are praised schools them now by the result the result then they down they need money then you want you six million for new sensors why what are you so angry for do that these are things where the country they cry for leadership she's a politician it don't benefit directly from politics then at this time where if for help for lady apc party one of the biggest opposition regroup and fight a battle with armor and forget victory for the people of Sierra Leone, and they try to divert the conversation from that. So APC party and the previous leader. And let me tell you something. There is a song where, because I, 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 be, I praised them a few days ago. There is a song where I advise Silver Blyden for listening to, now Kenny Rogers singer, The Gambler. Where they clearly the advice say, a gambler, which politicians are. Politicians are gamblers. Then they take risks. When you they play cards, you get for keep your cards close to your chest. You for know when for drop them and when not for drop them. You for know when for talk and when for shut up. And unfortunately, you know, they pick a time in them very well. You know, she's all over the place. And for me, there are certain things the way are they use for assess forcing the personality. If you see somebody, they call himself doctor. If I begin to ask yourself, say something is wrong. I am okay. Imran. My title is Mr. <laughs> I would not call myself Mr. Imran. When you see person, anytime where they address himself, they call himself Dr. Sylvia. I know a lot of doctors, even the lecturers in our college, I know they ever noticed that doctor then pass way I don't or where I can see them, they go conferences, then get them targeted, you know? And they call himself doctor. So it looked like saying a person where he gets attention seeking disorder. Oh, because, okay, well, uh, um, yeah. Um, I, I, just want for, I just want to drop now, yeah. Because, you know, it looked like for say, if they enjoy, if they get a propensity for they against everything. And when you're a politician, and a very mature politician, you say you're not a journalist. 
what you know, a journalist are the interests of the people that you seek. But in this case, from working at the Sinaya, Sylvia gets a vendetta, and all she is thinking about is seeking her own interest. And this is not the time for seek her own interest. This is the time for seek the interest okay, of the citizenry you. of Sierra Leone. Where you get okay, a very bad deal with the present government. Okay, okay. Um, there is um, much said there, um, very much said. I like the analogy about the song made popular by I think Kenny Rogers back in the 1980s about the gambler. Um, knowing when, what to keep, when to keep, what to throw out, when to throw out. In other words, when for talk and when, when for shut up. Um, you're entitled to your opinion, although most people can hide behind the entitlement to opinion, but even the entitlement to your opinion, it comes with responsibility. In other words, you can't just throw words out there and when yeah. you are challenged for prove them, provide evidence, either physical or circumstantial, and then you can't, you just think, say, you can say that's your opinion, but you're still entitled to them anyway. So that's much said there. Let me go to um, lawyer um, um, CC. So lawyer CC, we just hear you that Imran, you know, yeah, have a go. That's a dig at Dr. Dr. Blyden. A lot of it, you know, yeah, sound um, um, uh, a bit personal, you know, about the doctor thing, and I could go on and on and on. But that's his feelings, and maybe we'll come back for exploit, you know, that area they as to what he exactly mean. But uh, the previous two guests before you, they talk about this issue from a personal perspective. In other words, Dr. Sylvia Blinden feel an obligation as to nation states, as to the nation, as opposed to an entity, an institution to which she belongs. She suddenly get her urge say there is something bigger than the institution, and they take that kind of fight. Day. Is that a feeling where you get, um, uh, lawyer uh, CC? Well, actually, I, I, I will agree with them if they refer to misplaced priorities and time, the timeliness of this old event. Um, we're going on a very, we're on a very, very, very um, difficult situation in our country. The political <laughs> landscape yes. is very slippery, okay? Uh, even the audio, the video way it make with regards to giving cre credence to this. So I don't, I don't mean for cut you, I will give you the time again, but the yeah. question or what you try for boil down to, because if this thing is only being viewed from a party perspective, um, lawyer CC, for, with all due respect, sir, uh -huh. then obviously we go look at the timing of the outburst and Dr. Sylvia Blinden in take as kind uh -huh. of offensive, like what Adam say, the lines are drawn and you, you seem for the upset things. Has Dr. Sylvia Blinded suddenly found something else where he thinks he, now in kind of calling older than party? Or is there something that she wants? We make we ask the question again. What is the end game? That means it still belongs to the party. Well, Why we tell we talk, it's say APC, APC, APC. Well, well, now they talk. Now they, they try for rich day. Um, what you make her say, we no get problem with uh, Dr. Blyden. She hasn't you not know, bring anything new yet. Waiting in a talk with regards to the legality of this uh, uh, executive, we don't get two litigants, and we don't come up with the same case. Okay? We don't get articles, and we don't get group of reformers, and within the APC, we not even take action, but they in favor of these people, and she's one of them. Okay? We all want reforms, but the route, the conduit might be different. Who we all they take, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you're right. Some people they want to see personal interest, want Trump. Uh, uh, some people they want to argue, say the personal interest, want Trump, national interest, or partisan interest, okay? The reason why we did sound caution, I started earlier, you cannot get problem with big man, especially these two professions, a lawyer and a doctor. That you would call privacy, where you client in privacy, regardless of what happened, or individual privacy, regardless of what happened, you can't spill her because she's this close. Because when you do that thing, when you want to try to cross the boundary, 
there are huge ramifications, one of which you might be you, you might be on the thread line of commissioning a crime, in fact. The episode about helping the president, ex-president in daughter going uh, uh, abroad, the only savior at that point, she wasn't a person of interest or suspect at that time yet. Yet, it happened days after. You understand? Had she been a suspect, you did aid and abet a crime, regardless of the jurisdiction. Yeah, I will, I will let for come. So like when come you want to, that, to that, that just stand. So waiting, Mr. Well, Imran, I will really talk. Like wait, you come to that again. Yeah, waiting, Mr. Imran, the talk. Let we look at these issues in two ways. Okay, whether the personal issues one transcend to the partisan, you understand? And then, as I say, the reason why I make I no get free hands. You know, go say you want to be chief, immediate pandis, then I can social media. But there's a lot of things where we want, but I prefer I go to the substance of the argument. Okay. But you to answer to your question straight, yes, I can see say yes, the personal, um, the personal uh, uh, interest completely outweigh the national interest of party cancer and and if they put a political career on the grill, the question is, he worth it? Yeah. Thank you very much. And before I move on again to the other two guests, this question, they come back to you because I want to move to the issue of legitimacy. And you raised the point, but I want to press on on that. In terms of legitimacy, Sylvia, as you say, it don't question the current leadership. So, to me, there are two aspects to this where we don't talk about regarding other things then as per the opening of this program. One, the moral cause as a sense of belonging to an entity. And then probably, as we they say, a kind of national or higher calling where beggars the question, if you belong to an entity which is part of a whole, then you they question the legitimacy of that entity the way you belong to on the basis of the whole, where does Sylvia really stand, lawyer Wuri? You know, because a question the APC executive. Is she right? Let me ask you the question directly. Is she see, right or is she wrong? Or is it not a question of right or wrong? Questioning the legitimacy of let the me, let, the let me tell you the logic of this whole thing, you know? And this will go to all the litigants. Questioning the legitimacy of this, this uh, uh, executive, no get merit. Anybody who question legitimacy of the current APC executive, I will tell you without no hesitation, say, you have an, a vendetta, you have a, a hidden agenda. And I am mm. going to tell you why. This executive, then time been done, done in October the 17th last year. Okay. We are on route and routes for conduct we, 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 exec, uh, we, we convention and electing a new executive of which they don't even have the mandate for extended lifespan, okay? Because of other issues of COVID-19, we say, okay, let we push and small. And just when we serve notice, say, let us get, if you, uh, you uh, allege, say, these things, if this thing is wrong, you understand? But naturally, the time don't parole, okay? If, for, for, as a matter of principle, if I serve, this executive has been in three years. This executive has been in governance. Some of them were ministers. If this executive appoints me as a minister, if this uh, executive invites me for, to sit uh, 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 in, uh, 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 at the highest body, the second highest body of that, you understand? So now, if you say then time don't parole, then time don't don't, then you get for tell me one, two things. Are you saying that during the time where we appoint them, some of them selected that three year day, is that the period you're questioning, say they legitimate? Or are you saying when the time done for let them extend the mandate, is that period are you questioning? This is what none of the litigants is addressing to the people of the APC. And enough here. Yes, if you they question, then say, you they tell me now, say. Because these people are out of power, if they question the three years, because these people are out of power, they don't have the courts in their favor. They don't, the, 
can do anything. You think they are vulnerable. This is the time to attack them for all the vendetta, other than the nice symbol. You think this is the right time. So my problem is, if you they question the legitimacy of this executive, but the same executive now don't serve notice for conduct the convention. He don't they round. And then you go put injunction, you stop her. Then you say them people, they are not executive. If you say you they drive you man, I host. Or you woman, you say they drive you man, I host. He don't pack in bag for commerce. Then you go all and say, no, for go, no, I pack police can pull out for you. So, the man say, let me go on my own volition. So this is the point. It's not about the legality of um, whether the court, because I will tell you, if the verdict of the court, if the court is, is, is not acting in vain, what the court will do in the interest of equity, it will say, okay, fine, let logic prevail. Waiting at the lifespan of an executive in the APC, it will say three years. The three years done done, Yes, you don't done. Okay, we'll now go with fresh election. This is the part we are on right now. So okay. when are the issue again for come up with issues of illegitimacy? Okay. Um, again, much said there, and I will take that to Brother Imran to read before I come to um, um, Brother um, Adams. Um, like I said, again, much said. Again, this is the height of critical thinking and fumble on the 11th, on a Sunday of April, 2021, this is not a national discussion. It doesn't matter whether the, cent the, the center of the discussion is on the All People's Congress, which by many respects is at the very center of every conversation which is held, the biggest political opposition party in the country. But the idea is it's a national conversation and it's centered around a very prominent woman, a very well-decorated woman. We don't shatter glass scenes. We don't take the lead. We don't transform with many other women that we need to look out for emulate. Now we will discuss here this evening, this afternoon, this morning, and she's none other than Dr. Sylvia Olayinka Blyden, a household name. But as time goes by, like everything that goes up, it don't come down. Everything where you make, it can evaporate, then it turns to something else. In other words, the physical and the chemical process. Is this something like this now with the witness here today? And we get a very special panel, and we just listen to lawyer Ahmed um, Sisi. They make a very critical point just now. And this criti critical point, I want to talk a little bit before I shift them to Brother Imran um, Turi. So Dr. Sylvia seemed for the question, a structure to which she's part and parcel of. The most important thing here, if I understand lawyer CC well, this structure, which is now criticizing, probably it gets a late calling, but which she did not criticize, long after that mandate be no end, she never criticized it. She was called upon, she served on many occasions. And in fact, she did criticize at some point, and when she was called upon, the criticism end. And when they all call upon them, the criticism begin. What it comes to you, in terms of that situation, they were don't paint so. In other words, a kind of a pattern now they try for create. I'm not sure whether I'm right. It's up to the guests then, the viewers then for decide on that. But if this is the case, what is on the mind of Dr. Sylvia Blinden? And let me be very specific and be raw. Could this be blackmail? A former mentor is now up in the air in every derogatory way. And we see articles that were supposedly published in 2013, it's now being interpreted with the horns on the head of the former head of state, which is not strange by Western standards, but we do have our own culture and that's not our culture, but that's been imitated. What say you, Mr. Turi? Hey brother, I'm glad you, you asked the question. There are some basic fundamental things that they were we get for engineer within we culture. And one of the reasons that we make every day we asleep, I they pray to God, let God give we a leader. We get vision. We go really think about this, some of them things that are way to the point so. We not go get a country where people them always not get moral position. The moral position, now when they hand in at the bowl, when they don't put good okra and the rest, they put good meat, they hand it inside it and they eat, then all they complain. Until when they push their hand from the bowl, all of a sudden, they go either complain, say the soup gets too much pepper, or the soup not sweet, or 
the possible way cook the rest, the rest strong, or because we Sierra Leoneans here, we get this habit here, we're not a think community, we they think individual. And I they tell people, they say, that kind of thinking, they not they help we. Because we get this process where all the time, especially we wake up on the north, where everybody wants to be, you know, the man, you know, the, the, the kid in the, you know, the, the new kid on the block, where everybody, they come and say, where? And if we develop we community, we, we country that we will not go progress because one grain tree, not they make a forest. We need for make many trees and for that we will get forest. So if you go go dock your hand at that pan, the, until they pull your hand at the pan, they say the tea sour. Then that don't show say, we get an individual tendency. And the other thing again, where you talk about, he talk earlier say, now, an Eskuruma go go send Bobo there for Kosam. You know, I they come across this every time, and I they try to tell people and say, where they deal with social science or humanities, you have different shades of gray. You cannot say this is that. Where, where, where are the proofs? You know, it's not like where you can talk to most of we married party them. Where you go keep girlfriend, where you wear Ketcham. He say, now somebody don't put word in he wear yes. But you work na na adult, he able for make decision, independent decision for himself. Why when something happen, you not able look up to your web, get a conversation with your web, but rather you go up and the blame culture for go go blame the party say na the party na in can can pump your web, but not only the party send you for let you go go keep girlfriend. So the point why they try for make is, are they by your adult, are they by your responsible for your own action. If Adebayo do you something, deal with Adebayo. Adebayo in Holland. Even if an Eskroma send and for let it go go cause person, Adebayo get for agree and do him. And once he agree for do him, <coughs> my brother, we fall through it, Pamana, the one way through it, the Pamana, he puts the red. If somebody tell me, I say, I go go slap you, me go 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 slap you. Now me, go, now me do the assault. Now me responsible for the action. Possibly they go say me an accomplice if proofly. Still they not get any adequate proof for let him make the accusation the way it is made. And in a politician, by now if we don't develop hard skin for rebuff some of them kind things they are. But um, if he, they say, as me big brother say, prepare for put a career on the grill for things them way in you know, able to substantiate, for vendettas them way, go well, well in career. Because people they look at her now, see, if you are so angry, if you so dislike the party, the honorable thing for do, resign. Go, right. so you keep your own integrity and your own respect intact. Because let me tell you something. There are people in the Nasserah Leon right now, where no political party no go once at the bench. Because, of the way where they don't behave to one party clearly. Like for instance, we see the likes of Victor Four, we talk for say APC wonderful. APC go go take him in the man from Jimmy Bagbo. They make him a, 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 a distance. But the same person, I come back, you can't talk with things the way he talk. So you find out for say you don't put a blemish by yourself, well, you know go easily pull up. So what you mean to try for say Naya is Sylvia. Nainga water, nainga flower. How we want for mixer no more. But the way where it is mixer now, <laughs> obviously, you're not going to make pancake, you're not going to make bread. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, um, 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 Imran, you, you always keep manage for, you know, yeah, set me off, honestly. Um, thank you, thank you so much. And um, well, I see what Adam's the laugh, and what else is in the laugh. Yeah, yes, so, I mean, because you go just end up with flour all over the place. <laughs> this conversation tonight is not boring. And um, just before I go again to brother um, Adams for address the same question, I just want to let Fambulem because the number don't grow and with the appeal to Una, they are going to shape this conversation and only take the click of your mouse or your keyboard or whatever for Shebam to you many, many people and we you are acquainted with on social media. Then are the pyramid effect and other people and will join because the national conversation is they on and you have to be a part of the national conversation. 
even if you know they partake, you know, by contributing like in a physical way, but the idea that you shave them and you they part for Kanye here and first hand from three special guests, they're very articulate gentlemen. And another thing I want to make known is this conversation, although it's centered around a very powerful woman, an accomplished woman, well decorated woman, Dr. Sylvia Olayinka Blyden, not to just we intend for them intentionally forget an all male panel. We approach many other females then, including Dr. Ola Inka Blyden. This platform as a responsible platform then and now, send an invitation to Dr. Blyden. And I believe say, Dr. Blyden herself is probably most likely to watch this program here tonight. We send them an invitation. Dr. Blyden respectfully declined and we respect the decision we make. We the hope say one day, Dr. Blyden will sum up the courage for appear on the then and now platform because we self self get we uh, people the way they kind of um, follow me. Two, three announcements quickly, but uh, uh, Bangua, if you can hold on there. On this platform, um, before Independence Day, Cherno Bar, Cherno Alpha M Bar of the African Express, we don't grace this platform on more than one occasion. I can assure Una say, will be on this platform for let me talk about independence 60 years on. We will fill Una in with the information as he come by. Another important thing we have for happening at this platform is a former minister, an APC minister, a member of parliament, Sister Isata, will be on this platform most likely around the 23rd of this month. Mr. Ponga Mano Sisi hopefully will be on this platform on Tuesday. So there is many, many, many important things then for come on the then and now. So today, the 11th of April, 2021, on a Sunday, I am your host and presenter on a humble son, Prince Emil Koma. Um, Adam Sangua, here is the thing, we don't hear it from the other people then. Very important, very, very critical. Dr. Sylvia Blinden is part of a structure and that structure is part of a whole. But it seems for the come outside of that structure they now, they sort of try for base this argument on the basis of a higher calling. In other words, there are different entities at um, odds with each other. And if it belong to one of the entity then they. Now it seems for they talk to everybody on a different basis. But it don't pull in gloves off and seem for the punch hard. When I say punch hard, that even you young chairman, you chairman for life, Dr. Ernest Baikoma is now a target. Is this a dangerous game that Sylvia Blind in the play? Well, um, not unless um, her ambition for me, it could be the first female president of Sierra Leone is still on. But if it's still the not your not dream day, then I will respectfully ask, make it get everything. Because what thing you not want for do, now for end up for upset the entire establishment within the party where you think, say, if given that opportunity, you will need every one of us to rally behind her and give her that support. If you don't begin the act so now, People will begin to ask themselves the question, is it worth it for me to throw my weight behind this kind of a person? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brilliant as she is, with all that she has, but does it really worth it? Then you ask yourself the question as to why probably she was disinvited at NAC. Because if some very personal informations of this nature. You are privy to them. Somebody tell you something where, I mean, under normal circumstances, enough support for happen, for make a former president, all of a sudden become this destitute, he ask for this help. It tells you how embarrassing probably he may have been at that material time, for make he even ask of that. This was the most powerful man at a particular point in time that we count in history. Now, all of a sudden, find himself in that uncomfortable position for save a precious daughter, and she asks of a favor. I think the last thing you want to do 
regardless of how upset you are, regardless of how upset you are, if you say this person are you big brother, I'll go to you and then spill my mind in front of you. Tell you, say, I need to expect say you go go this far with me. Assuming, say, in allegation, right, say, now nah, next night nah, in the sending people are for course. Huh? Go to him, tell him the ball, the piece of your mind, how far you went for please him when he needed you. And now you need somebody for stand by you when people they try for course you and call you all manner of name where you know say you not deserve. I think you'll be reasonable enough for listening to you and help you cry. You understand? If not to indirectly self, get an hand in this. If you're able to prevail on any other person for say, but when I reach out to this person who they cause this trouble here, that Sylvia is only innocent, I think you will go that far. That's if it gets any link or whatever it is to that. But okay. we will not just say, just because I am upset today with you or any other member on this panel, that whatsoever it is, what we don't get years behind closed doors, they begin to spill them out in public. They're not meant for public consumption. At some point, every one of us, and, and, and probably I don't know about Imran, but I am pretty sure this is something that my elder brother Ahmed will allude to. They don't want to win at this party. You understand? Yeah. They don't want to win at this party. But if we say we all they pull gloves, simply because we think, say, these people are now vulnerable, this is now an opportune time for make myself can't hit at them, I'll be making myself funny out there. Somebody yeah. else will look at me and say, what kind of a man does he think he is? What kind of politician we think he one for can be? I'll give you a story where, in fact, um, this has happened a couple of years ago. Now, only today, now somebody called me um, from Salon, he run this by me. He said, he say, boys, he said, you really don't beat um, a lot of our imagination within the leadership of the party. I said, how come? He said, yeah, um, a couple of years ago, you wrote an article where you would advise the former president, this was um, President um, Anes Kuruma, when people were calling for more time after you, now you and all of that. When I wrote an article and said, this is a distraction. The president does not need all of this now. What you will need for do now for help and rally around in legacy and see how those leg that legacy can be cemented within mm -hmm. the history of Sierra Leone. You mm -hmm. understand? What did somebody do? Somebody caught this article here, it go, it go put derogating comments and the way, and not even um, 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 put <laughs> the article itself. Simply because for waiting, for set me up on the, of, with the leadership of the party. And sadly, some of them, they bought into it. The person tell me, say, even the president was also informed that this was what I said about him. So what's in the person do? The person know me too well. But then a party office, so they sharp the net for me. I say, he say, no, he say, this is not the article that I read. He said, well, now all day now, yeah, he's a comrade. What's in this man they talk? I think say he's genuine about the legacy of President Koroma. Let's not continue to vilify him. So eventually, what did he do? There was an article where Pai and Sanebi issue. So what did he himself do? Now he take this article, yeah, he go a doctor, um, he put that in the way and Sanebi not see. Now he go, now he go show Pai and Sanebi. Say, Pai, say, look, this is somebody sent to me. I answer and I say, say no, 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 so not to this, I write. This not to me, not to me, I think, this. This, you see, now this, now the mischievous business is all they tell people about how they abuse social media and all of that. Now yeah. he tell and say, now he say, Pa, you know what? He say, I did this. He say, you know what to make a do? Um, and for me, I could not say, now allegation they make against that young man is completely false. Now they post a big phone now, he call president and tell and say, we don't investigate this issue. Uh, now allegation against the young man is wrong. But the damage was already done. So by the time mm -hmm. someone will go for symbol now, they still find a way for Naku to knock in it. But this is what I was trying to say here. Sylvia, I understand her frustration and where she is coming from. You understand? But the manner at which she's going about it, she's causing even more damage to herself that she probably thought she is doing to the former president. Because what's in the apple now, a lot of people now will become sympathetic to the people that they accuse her, especially for the fact that she was an insider. And this is the fear of so many parties stalwart. Because if you be done the, within the operations of government, and also somebody who don't serve as, let's say, 
um, 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 will be done serve that very close to the former president, a special executive assistant, a heartbeat to the presidency. And then you're spilling things like this. It is worrying for getting this kind of posture at strategic level, Nanak, for making a good discourse, classified issues will get for the with party operations. Where somebody will think, say, probably when you're upset tomorrow, you'll be out there again spilling it out. Okay. So that again could be a recipe. Probably one of the many reasons will make them say, make them disinvite an anak. It could okay. be one of those. But you cannot take a, her exceptional gift. And I've always commended her in that. But the way she goes about doing things, sometimes when she's frustrated, I understand, I appreciate that. But we've all been frustrated at some point, not this party. Some of we will okay, not well, come out at this um, stage of defend leadership based on, on some of the suffering that we don't go through. But no, they are comrades. And when a comrade is down, your role is to uplift them up because that's what the battle is all about. We are comrades. We should be... Okay, well, Adams, um, thank, you, thank you so much um, for, that delivery, for that delivery day. Make a move on to um, um, lawyer CC um, on the basis of things that we, you just um, mentioned um, kind of um, earlier on. And they say, again, once more, there's a lot said, but Fambulem, this is not the discussion, the ongoing discussion about the state of the country. Despite now one individual, what they talk about, but a very powerful individual, we mean so much. We don't do so much in the country, but now she did at the center of the discussion, which we are holding here um, tonight. And this individual have, happened for be Dr. Sylvia Olayinka Blyden, okay? Lawyer Cicela, uh, we talk about um, the vacuum. When we talk about the legality and um, the morality, and we don't talk a lot about them. Um, so let me just talk kind of broadly, okay? Mm -hmm. So Dr. Sylvia potentially could have a case, but other people will see her otherwise, because if you belong to the society and we don't swear, say this um, thing where we swear to, this is what we have to live by, and you come out inside it. I can't make the emphasis any better than this. And you begin to talk on the outside now because you are grieved. But according to you, from a legal perspective, there are um, solutions to people that we kind of agree or processes we then can follow. It seems like Dr. Sylvia has not followed these processes, even though we'll not talk about if that's the case and why has she not followed these processes. Instead, he decides to take matters into his own hands. But here is where we are, um, Lawyer CC. Let's talk about situational vacuum in terms of an institution. In other words, the All People's Congress is an institution, a massive institution. And I know say all three of the guests them don't talk about the situation. In other words, the time, how critical the time is. Dr. Sylvia Blinden, where you sabi and una the talk. Do you think that strategically a look at the time and decide for upset things as they are now ongoing with all of these audios and publications where they come out, incriminating even himself to some degree, and then the president they promise more to come, or it just they do this thing out of um, again a national calling? Where are we with waiting, Dr. Sylvia Blind in the do? Is it a conscious thing where they do? And if they do unconsciously, there is something where you hope for derived from this. Where are we with this, um, Lawyer Sisi? Help me understand that, please. Well, actually, earlier on a premise, my argument say, for the record, Sylvia no get problem with the APC. Otherwise, if you get problem with the APC, the channels then they open to her. One, if you write a letter to the party expressing grievances. And secondly, if they're not addressed, I go to PPRC and then later I can go seek redress in a court of law. So now on but, that basis, the they say you know get case against the party. No, you're looking from a legal not perspective. Not from that yeah. aspect, say, because there is a okay, due process. Thank you, very, thank you very much for clarifying yeah, that. There is a due process. If you get a case, we don't yes. get people there before we get a case, then follow that party. But or if you not yeah, do an yeah. asset now, mm -hmm. then you not get a case with the party, okay? As far as we're concerned. Now, within the popular perception, the popular perception, this is why I wanted, I have been wanting to cease and desist from um, going the angle of the president. Because the chairman and leader seemingly, they constantly reply to the social media uh, uh, commentators them where they go at them with all, right now, with all some of derogatory languages. 
Now they, they reply by an audio them. The issues them with them, they brought up, now they, they address. And just like what Adam say, now post you they look at the I say, now one of the few female leaders and what we've been they look at and what they still look at say, he go claim that ladder, that glass ceiling, he go broke that glass ceiling, okay? If issues they are, they arise, then they constantly they refer to people in a social media. You understand them, pick a fight with them. You understand? It brings to question, it brings to sharp focus your ability for sustained pressure. Now, a country like Sierra Leone, a post conflict country like Sierra Leone, we get a lot of renegades there where one can rule. If you're able, you know, if people in they stone you, you they run, and then you stop by for stone. You they shorten your time for going to a destination. Now, before I go to answer your question, where are we? I just the reason why I make a step in, and I remind uh, uh, Dr. Blind, and I hope you listen. The reason why I make a tell and say, I, 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 I come up from a moral point, say, a wrong for spill waiting and the spill. So, two things. One, we all get picking them. The kind concoct story, where SLPP concocts the story and charge. President Koroma in Pekin and Abbott Williams and Darami is so painful when they don't even have an iota of evidence for prosecute that case. I followed that case say, to the closing remark and I saw the blatant, blatant uh, 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 prosecutorial malice with and display. They concocted the story lie and ingamp on somebody in Pekin. That person was in desperation. For the it's unlike where all stay born, you didn't have seven story, you did don't you say la send me picking, you say send a la oda wa send a you pull your hand. You understand? So at the film, he says self don't attest it, it was a lie, the allegation was false, and then the president in daughter was innocent. But what's more important, Dr. Blyden, you may not know the people and listeners, she hailed from a very powerful political clan. In Uncle Wena S.A.J. Pratt, one of the most God bless his soul. She was one, he's one, he was one of the most celebrated politicians. He served both the Bagai regime and Stevens regime. President Stevens, what did he do in Uncle Wena S.A.J. Pratt? He not do uh, President Commando do half of, of uh, 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 this to Dr. Blyden. You understand? But S.A.J. Pratt pulled in memoirs, he pulled in, in, in interview, he not openly condemn President Stevens, even though he don't die now. President Stevens didn't die at that time. That man in Uncle being kind of, they become the way they treat us, some of we know history. President Stevens treated him with some amount of levity. He'd been born out. Not only one game the circle, he uncle back one time they, because that man was a, a, a unionist. Now the man that they will be for expand the railway system as alone, if they've been given a chance. A whole lot of things they may be for bring. Because a and President Stevens at that time get locked ahead, he removed her from the cabinet. Everybody was peeved. And even the white people were not happy so, at that and, time. And, and, and the point so, is that? So my point is, if he uncool stomach such a, a, a grievance, he not include an in memoir. If for can just take the cue, say, you know what? Make a dumb Put them. Now, you they talk about the waiting the public they see Dr. Blad in the utterance is now that he hell bent for say, if Una fast in me, I go make sure say APC lost this election 2023. Now, so the people in Abacha they think, and I must say that I no go hide them. Now, so then they think say, he go want revenge, let SAPC lost this election. Because if not to that, some of the areas the way they touch for even make reference say, the 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 the, the report uh, uh, and you've seen Dr. Yansanes bank accounts and uh, in the midst of all this thing. So you asked me earlier, who side we they moving forward? Honestly, the legality of this one known thing, as I say, I know they say people they not get married because I mean, <laughs> as a lawyer, they encourage everybody for go seek redress now they are, prop they are a competent jurisdiction. So if you take your case in a court, I know go go say, you will waste your time. Let the court the time. But what I want to make you know, the court where you they refer to, the PPRC way, I'm sorry, the commission of the census statistics 
way Dr. Blydindig attested they have rights to do these things. The, the, the Electoral Commission, these are politically inundated, SLPP inundated institutions. Where not they seek nobody interest. So if they give credence to them, because there are legal ambiguities, even though you, your, your rights your rights does not make you legally right, the procedure can make you legally wrong. So okay. if at this point in time we they struggle for for see how we they put we house together, and we they count on the expertise, how brilliant. Because remember, I say just like Gwiti Adam say. When APC go into opposition, the first person for spring into defense was her. You understand? The first person for shatter this GTT report was her. So at this time, we expect it in the country. But wait, I want to tell you now, and people the view, I've worked with President Koma, and I will tell you this, and as I say earlier on, he no go openly send people then for go cause that woman. So we, they try for, see how best we will put this in-house. The water no pass Gary to my APC. We don't get people there. We don't get cases then. We don't pass this. We don't go fire. OK, OK, Loya, we, we, I mean, we get a few more questions together. for post so, to you towards the end of this program. We're running out of time, and we need for really catch up because there is so much more I want for let we deal with. But um, whilst I want to run quick to brother Imran, who has been very, very patient, a quick one with all what you said. You did in contact, I suppose I hear you right from the beginning of this program. You did in contact with Dr. Blyden. Are these the things that you're advising Dr. Blyden? And if you advise them, possibly she's not taking the advice because she's still more and more on media releasing tape upon tapes. Well, as you say, did you hear me, sir? You say? So I mean, they say, if I understand you well from the beginning of this program and you already you don't say just now. Mm -hmm. um, you did in touch with Dr. Sylvia Blind, and I mean, she's a friend, Una de Talk, and as a lawyer, with all this legitimate point that we don't put across, are they supposed to, for the benefit of the listening audience, that you they advise Dr. Blyden, not official in an official capacity, in a private capacity as a friend and a sister? No, yeah, no. Yeah. Me, me, me and somebody, we get a team. The person, we all decide, we send, we make let the person go approach her. Because we no one do are in a barrage of so we all sit down and I'm the person they engage. I didn't tell the person they engage, I they tell we. I say before you spill them out, so you understand, let we come together because you see, we we no go one suicide dispute they will come from the other side because now well, that's it's certainly, that. it's certainly not a listing. Um, um, I don't know when last the last advice goes around from well, you, you see, it 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 it's it, it, a timing, you understand, according okay. to the last person. He don't okay. decide for we seen from going the details of any other person. Now he talk on political issues, constitution and matter, as far as I'm concerned now. Unless if the person we okay, engage them, um, um, uh, again, like well, I say, as far as we concern, as far as we I got many questions for you, and I will okay. definitely come back to you. I want to go quickly to Brother Iman, who has been extremely patient. Brother Iman, the question is short. Um, Sylvia is doing great damage to the party, and you not seen for the means she was. You take them personal, and you've made it known that this particular um, 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 platform where we talk from. Okay, how much damage do you think say it don't do, and how Una can do for stem this damage? Because certainly she's a very much powerful woman, and she's got a voice out there. You, it's not one of those voices that where you can silence either publicly and etc or social media wise she's managed for deal with social media she's got a page out there she's got a voice she's got an audio series which is making the rounds how can you deal with a person of this kind hey brother waiting the puzzle me pass all things now the fact that you know the woman it comes out from a good home now a decent person i don't really know waiting na the trigger because even myself, as Brother Adams say earlier, honestly, at the beginning of all these um, things where they go on, so I say this woman, the way it affects for APC, I say they for really, really, really do something for them, at least for make them a running mate. But of late, the way where it they behave, this schizophrenic. Where where they behave, this flippancy, it's like he eats cocoa leaf. You know, let me tell you something. Creoman say, 
you forgive you much cola. Talk out, let us. You see, if everybody they come out, they call you chief man, they call you light man. People are going to doubt, say something a lie, something a vendetta. But if you don't begin, you young wife come out, kind of public now say, this lab that chief man are true. It goes a long way. So what do you make at this time? For me, I go back from the, the timing. One has to know when to talk and when not to talk. Sierra Leone's situation right now is volatile, it's dangerous, it's slippery. And the opposition itself, they are at this array. Some of we, they, 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 they beg them for letting them come together. They do the consortium the other day. After we then go, we don't read and say nothing. We they try for telling for say, come on, get on with it, guys, get on with it, guys. Then this woman there consistently it said gogo. It they took them, it they took them. It they took them for scattered the only. When you scatter the only, what do you go benefit? Then go back better. Nine then go back back. Because at the end of the day, APC week, then they try for build them up. Why it is right for Kanka to make the party even weaker more? Me, I'm not able to understand the logic of this. Because as my brother say, there are ways of seeking redress. This woman, a Christian woman, the Christian values tell we say, if somebody wrong you, get an elder, talk to an elder, talk to the person, the person not listening, get an elder. Nowadays, any side where you go for Google work, you get for sign, agreement on confidentiality. It's a very serious thing, confidentiality. If somebody call you where a day in need, say that you help me begin. All what's in transpire, as pure man is not do you laundry in a public. It can't team up na jama. It announce everything where it do care picking a guinea, no care picking a guinea. It is totally no brainer. Anybody will get sense. No say enough for don't do something like that. And mm -hmm. me, not one person way na me life. I hate insincere people. Because Martin Luther said to me, not to usa you stand when things are fine. Now they say where you stand when things then they go bad. What do you do and what do you say? Now it make you a better person. My papa always tell me for say, you party where you get. You know, go ever, ever know you party in loyalty. Now when something go wrong, how the person behave to you. Right now, an Eskoma gets all kind of bad name there now. He's not perfect. No one is perfect. Ian and Eskoma don't play ball together on the same team. Things not as rosy as it was. If there is any time where you need for support a leader, this is the time. Not only time this, for him in particular, like me what you don't ask you. I know one day it's nothing from any political party. I know one day it's <laughs> nothing. All the diamond red export. Because so far me concerns are you. The world the politician in the It go better let us sell the country, let all ship the money. I know one day benefits nothing. But me a person of principle. Why you not go deal with this tier in house? The level okay. of flippancy where it don't go for now, in order to help them, me they talk with me they talk. Now advise her, they advise them. I do a whole audio where I send out advising her that she has to go back in the closet and keep her mouth okay. shut because at the end of the day, in order to hurt an escroma, an escroma don't be president. It don't don't. You not go be president again. You get so, chance to be president. So Imran, 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 this question they come back to you just before I go to Brother Adams quickly, and yeah. then if you can answer them quickly. Yes, you, you, you find them deeply offensive in the way, if I understand you well again, in the way um, Dr. Blyden, they conduct things. Because you see, say, this is not inside thing. If there are issues, it should be resolved on the inside. This is me take from within you, they say. But other than that, Dr. Blyden on the outside, they talk so much, so much so that a form chief will make an audio for appeal to him, including waiting lawyer Sisesi and waiting brother Adams say, brother Adams, they talk to him as well. But is this all falling on deaf ears? Because it promised for more tapes to come, even today. 
you, you know, this is the kind of person. Where are you with this, um, Bola Iman? Now that's I mean, they just strive for talk so. And then Skoroma don't do two terms. He don't do. He don't achieve. What did he get for achieve? Whether somebody left that or not left that, the man don't know the history of Sarali. Nobody not go talk to not be president. She is a potential person. We could be the first female president of the country. But with all the things that way they do, it will damage the credibility. That's what okay. I'm going to do. Okay. Um, La hold you there, just for the sake of time. It will damage the credibility. Over to Brother Adams, Dr. Sylvia Blinden, the damage in credibility. But there are other people where they see a different way, like say in the dance with the devil. The devil in this instance, the, um, the ruling party, because it belonged to the opposition party. So therefore she seems to be dancing with the devil. Is this a deliberate game, Dr. Sylvia Blind in the play? Is it calculated? Or is this just a misdirection or a scenario of um, two truths, uh, Brother Adams, or even three? Your own truth, the other people, your own truth, and the real truth, we're supposed to be in the middle. Or is it just a nationally political reason that it gets? Help me for understand this kind of narrative, brother. You mute, Adams, you mute. Apologies. What, in, what I was saying, Nayana, that um, it is neither a public interest disclosure that they make, but other than the fact, say, it they damage in your credibility uh, nationally and also within the APC party. Because um, forget about politics. Let's even say her as an investigative journalist. If I have got class, if we get classified information, where I want for pass probably through now and for publication, I'll be tempted to think twice. Because I go member say, one day, one day, this post here, if may in fallout, it will give me out to the public. Even though the information will be of public interest, I go scared because of that kind of thing that we will see soon. Um, if you somebody want for things, say probably a they play into um, the strength of the SPP party or a they play along with them. I don't want to see, um, think that way. Not to, I mean, I mean, I see I'm completely different. Sylvia and Sylvia. <laughs> Explain to me what is Sylvia, Sylvia and Sylvia. Yes. But that's Sylvia, That is to say, the only person who Sylvia to listen to is Sylvia. Uh, okay. Thank you for <laughs> that. Sylvia, I want to do something. Now I make, you know, I will appreciate me big brother in effort. If they go able to succeed, it's all good. And thanks if they go able for, for succeed. Or Sylvia listens to Sylvia only. There was a time when, when the party, when we lost as a result of her role and the effort we in the play, how she stood by the party and the leadership, a lot of expository articles and way it be the right against this government. Me now one post we reach out to him privately. I say, what do you think for man the secretariat of the party? I said, think about it. Let me know. I said, personally, I will throw my weight behind you publicly if we forgo all out for get support for you. Now the diaspora within Sierra Leone for more raise money or do whatever other thing, I will personally champion that we will do that for you. So because we need somebody, we need afraid, we're ready for take on the ruling government because we need to get a vibrant person. We're going to bring about the needed changes and all of that stuff within the, 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 the party and secretariat. We spoke about it. It just laughed. So, oh, when well, I ready, you know, and those kind of thing. Is she still an asset? Yes. But do I want to see her leading that secretariat as it is? No, I'll be lying to myself. Okay. Okay, Adam. Well, um, uh, yeah, um, th thank you for that. One quick question before I go to lawyer. We, we fast, they run out of time. And Fambulem, just a quick reminder, this is the Den and Our platform. They come to Ona today, the 11th of um, April, 2021. Me when they talk to Ona, so me and my name, Prince Emil Koma, and we they have a very important discussion centered on Dr. Sylvia Blyden. Of course, the show don't come far away um, from where we begin the conversation just now. 
and now here we are. So some people will join later and we just want to let people understand, say, despite you see an all male panel, this was not the intention. We sent out word to many, many female panelists there because we're conscious of we national um, obligation. So therefore we are all inclusive, but unfortunately we will not be successful. If we talk to Dr. Sylvia Blyden, Ola Inka Blyden, we send her an invitation so that it will appear, she respectfully declined. We talked to other, many other female people and then um, as well declined. It tell like say the situation what they, what they talk about is so toxic. Fortunately for me, we get three gentlemen, them, powerful gentlemen, them, academics, intellectuals, critical thinkers of our time. We take up the mantle and yet then they help we for understand the situation here this evening. And right now speaking to us is um, three of the gentlemen there, Mr. Adams Bangura, who they see right now, not the screen, and uh, Lawyer Wui. Uh, I say Lawyer Wui. I keep the calling Lawyer Wui for some reason. My apologies. Lawyer Ahmed Sise and um, Brother Imran Khan, we're always able for set me off. That's why I love the brother for coming on at the show. Um, thank you so much. Um, um, Brother Adams, the question we, or the thing we want to add to what you they say before I move on quickly to um, um, Lawyer C.C. is um, serious thing for continue for do the damage. And the reason why I pause you again and decide for jump inside because you use one fine analogy where you describe Sylvia as Sylvia. Sylvia always speaks of herself in the third person. And I believe say, that's what you were trying to express. Sylvia only believe, you know, Sylvia and only listen to Sylvia. But here's my quick question to you. You don't have to answer this, Brother Adams. And you're smart enough, you know, here for knowing if you answer or not. Um, in as much as you don't know this woman over the years, you don't interact with her and et cetera. Do you think that she is changing in different respects? What are the type for drive at? We all, we all know Sylvia like for fat in fat. But Sylvia has gone through some trials and tribulations lately that not many people, including Manden, he able to survive or go through that kind of thing, problem in the way Dr. Sylvia blinding go through. In other words, an, a whole government the machinery, the tools, the resources of our government was thrown at her. We saw two trucks of policemen and go for go arrest a single woman. We saw that she was jailed, she was abused, and there are many other adjectives I can use to that respect. And with all due respect to Dr. Sylvia Blinden, these are things that will transpire. Don't we think that that has some mental repression on the mindset, you know, here of a very brilliant woman? Um, um, I, I agree with you in that, Prince, because um, it has it has a, a psychological effect. The trauma is still there, and I, I must I must I must say this here. Um, this is a public medium. She is she is probably genuinely hot, because I remember when she came out from prison. One of the many grumble way it make now the fact that say they don't feel like say the party leadership stood by her. In free say there was no public statement in support from the leadership here and there, but they are aware. Because I remember us here in the UK, we pulled several statements. We even go begin raise funds for help all, you know, with um, 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 our, our legal fees and all other things where we give support, um, uh, we we'll raise money now for, for help. Her. We stood by her. Probably that was not enough for her. She needed the leadership of the party for making them come to her aid and speak up. We, that can be one of the many reasons why she probably fell out with them. Because you go to look at her and say, but I mean, don't stick myself for them people there. Where they go bully me, then go, then go take an estimate picture on me and even lift them up as evidence Nobody yeah. came to my defense within the leadership. Yeah. And, and, and to be honest, we need to be fair to her. She's human. No matter, man, it's the field. You understand? Of course. And the reason why you say we're not comrades, now for when one person they don't, may we all stand by her, regardless of we personal disagreement. So she may well be genuine in that. But also the fact that say she gets a case for me, there are ways where you're able to channel that case for make people listen. There are reasonable people within the leadership of the party. Yeah, they but, but, yeah. but I'm, not call, I'm, not call, I'm not call Adams. I've heard this from you. I've heard this same narrative from Brother Imran Toure and I don't hear from Lawyer CC. 
In other words, there are channels within the party structure which you can channel new ones. Are you aware whether you don't use that channel there or you not just trust the channel? Probably you don't use them before, and we continue for repeat the same thing. Whether she, whether whether he gonna use them or not, whether she trusts the channel or not, the fact remains is that Sylvia gets access to the leadership of the party past Mrs. With you now because it don't work on that nest. Sylvia able drive go to McKinney, send an S a taxi, but I want to talk to me to you. Yeah, Adams, I will stop. I will Adams, I will stop you there. Allow me again for interject respectfully. Yes, we know that he get access to the top echelon of the party. Okay, so he can drive go McKinney any day and request the president, the former president, say, I need for see you and see you now. He can call the former president and as by Coroma at three o'clock in the morning. Because the number is personal, he's going to pick up. But now she's out there in the public doing what she does. Are we going to keep an open mind for say, well, you don't try, always is supposed for try, in order to see no justice on insight, or are we going to say deliberately, if they use this as a ploy, just like what you did at the bargaining table, because your strategy is you're aiming at something. Can we look at it from that two-prong approach? I, I get I get the angle I get the angle where they, where, where they come from. Personally, if I were um, a member of NAC, I would not ignore her. You understand? I will not ignore her. And I make I appreciate the fact say um, Ahmed, they try to forget this mediation channel here for reach out to them, make them listen to them. You understand? Because what do we not want? Now the distraction within ourselves. We don't need that one day now. What do we need now? Now all forces for come together. See if we are bringing our expertise. All man come together, more we sit down, we know how they begin for first the way forward for ensure say we provide the rightful opposition way salon need now. Mm. Now na census na in the type of bill over we aid so now. You understand? And also you get the local government act where the government still the type of force we throw we throw it. So all of this with the back and forth with the Sylvia issue now, what you, would, what you would see so now? The party leadership want to take one different direction. Sylvia now they come up with another analysis where okay. Symphony is support of what they happen to now. So we don't need all of them kind of talks to the leader back and forth a day. We okay. will respectively, we go listen from our Marjus Land Creek. We go listen from Sylvia. May it tell we how he thinks that we are able to move forward from here. Then we begin to find the way out of the situation. Now yeah. only Sylvia now Ingo calm down this situation now. Because the people are waiting they talk against, none of them not respond publicly, none of them have said anything against her publicly. So now Sylvia now need to give peace and chance and listen to the people that we don't reach out to her for make them find a way out of this issue. Thank you. But Thank not do anybody, you know, do anybody favor uh, good where this issue they continue. So it's hot in the party. It's not in the party's interest and the timing. Thank you very much, Brother Adams. Um, lawyer, lawyer CC. Mm -hmm. It seemed like for say, um, Dr. Blyden, of course, a genius, than a calculated person. You know me say you cannot be unstable, okay? So you're calculated, you get this ability for determining things and read in between things and far forward, but you know me say you can't falter as well. In between here, there are two things I want to post to you. One thing, um, lawyer CC, now the legality of something we brother Adams just talked about, which is about the census, where I would like for let you provide we an overview or a synopsis of Dr. Blind and contextually in approach to the issue. And another one is Dr. Blind and Sim for don't um, take a critical moment, which means that she understands the moment, um, lawyer CC, if um, we fuse her. He understand the moment and decide for capture on this particular moment, because this is what makes um, party stalwarts, APC people, APC party members, and et cetera, et cetera, so aggrieved that at a critical time where I can put them hyperbolically, where you kind of smell victory or some sort of success in three years, here is somebody from within the upturn, mm -hmm. something where it's supposed to be a part of and pursue the narrative, seem for the scatter everything aside. Dana one. So the moment where Dr. Sylvia don't take up, is fully aware and they use that as a bargaining chip 
This will be my suggestion or submission going forward. And then the second one is on the census, on a legal basis, um, lawyer CC. The constitution provides that the president can call for a census every five years. We understand, say, you get the census law as well, statistic way different from the um, constitution, but of course the constitution reigns supreme. Now, how do you conduct yourself with him when you call for him and waiting on the happen in between, let us say for the past three years, which makes people suspicious, but there is a legality on the basis of which you can call for a census. And Dr. Sylvia Blinden seems for the back that. What say you, lawyer CC? Well, first of all, in all sincerity, it defeats the doctrine of collective responsibility. That is what Dr. Sylvia Blyden breach. Collective responsibility meaning we all for speak in one voice as a political party, okay? You may see, say, yes, uh, this route wrong. Uh, let me talk about the legality of the census. He interprets the law literally. By the literal interpretation, you go say yes, the literal meaning, yes. You go say section 10, subsection 2 of the Census Act C, Statistics Sierra Leone gets the mandate for con the conduct elections every 10 years or such a time where the president may be determined. May determine. In other words, if the president not determined along that time day, after five years or three years, it's a bad law. I know how we go into that. The, 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 the census now every 10 years, okay? Now, in such a no, no, lawyer, 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 say for the benefit of the people away, the listen, sir, and mm -hmm. you now a legal mind, hence where I bring this particular question to you. So mm -hmm. I don't want to let we just brush over them because you begin a nicely, let's. No, let's no, let me land. Under. Just allow me that. I don't say, lawyer, say. I don't say there are social connotations, sir. But what I'm trying to say, the Constitution does give the president the prerogative for let me, let me, No, no. Let me, let me learn. First yes, of all, please. I they feel scared when they say the Constitution give the president? Because we in our lawyers, we they deal with specificity. If you send me now, say the Constitution give the president the right, I will ask you what section, give me the authority in the Constitution. There is no so, authority. Hang on, hang on, hang, hang on, lawyer, hang on, lawyer, sir, hang on, lawyer. Um, um, I think now 31, 38, and subsection 5. And remember, say, a, a question that they ask. I, I, I'm not a legal minded. I'm not legal minded. It's a question uh -huh. in the research I do, sir. I just want to let you see from that perspective there. Okay, now you, as far as you concern, if you look at from that angle day, let me just take you because until we get audience them with the listen, you understand. If you say the 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 the, the section thirty one no make any apparent reference, say then then in at the section thirty one of the constitution. Mm -hmm. Now, the area we deal with registration of voters. You understand? Yeah. Now, the registration of voters, public elections, now I deal with. And he say the electoral commissioner forgets a time for compiled voter. You know, get nothing for do with the census. Now, electoral commission section 31 and 32 address. Now, I make a the channel that I say there is no sign at the constitution with their red leggy powers. Who said the president derived in power? And I want you to listen to me carefully, okay? We constitution say section 170, it outlined the laws of Sierra Leone and then the, to be the sources of law. And he put acts of parliament legislation to be sources of law. So they don't become within a creature of the constitution automatically. But when you they talk to media, because if you talk to a legally minded, you say the constitution get and the right, you say refer me to your authority. And no sign no the from that from section one to the, the, the transitional clause. But section 171 give the president the, the act of parliament. So now the president they rely on an act of parliament, what we call the Census Act 2002, section 10, subsection 2, we give the power, say. The, the, the statistics here and you get power for conduct election every 10 years. Okay. Now, then 
If they're not determined, the president go determine, okay? Then now, this is the catch. And this is why I said, um, Dr. Nobi for make that utterance is there. Because you they look at, that is the literal meaning. We get the golden meaning by interpretation. We get the mischievous ruling. They will get the purposive ruling. Members in a politician, they make this constitution. All the man gets the agenda we want to achieve. Now, if this section don't say so, section 10, okay? Now you go to section 14 of the constitution, where actually back don't give the electoral commissioner and section 31 back where he refers to say, there shall be an electoral commissioner for Sierra Leone. In just show you say electoral commissioner for exist. Section 14, actually, now he refer to the authority where the electoral commissioner himself gets for divide the country into constituencies. So now, if then why I don't start from section uh, 38, subsection 4, we give the power, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, for let the electoral commissioner uh, 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 delimit the country. So we don't get two forces here. Now, when me and the president bill in interview, now AYV, sorry, now start television in 98.1, when the interviewer asked him, he said they are in the court. They are in the middle, in advanced stage of constitutional review and proportional bulk representation, district bulk representation, now area where they the strongly look at. So you see the method. So when I look at, I say, okay, if the president gets this um, uh, right, where the constitution say, if it's desirable, you understand? It's not desirable. That is why you see the consortium say, it's not desirable and the time not enough. Now, if they start this dealing, uh, uh, this census, and I they tell you in the back, if they start this census, they're not finishing on time, okay? And that's a one year or six or eight months left. And then he left 11 months or two or one year for the elections or one year, two months uh, for elections. And then the, the, the commissioner, Electoral Commissioner back say, wait a minute, Mr. King divide the country into constituencies. Instead of starting process, if we not finish section 38A of the constitution, clearly give the president the mandate for make it can we go into a district block system. Elections by okay. district block representatives. Okay, we'll not, no, we'll they can't we'll finish. Let we'll just finish. Let finish. You asked me about the dangers of Sylvia. Let me tell you. Oh, no, I want to so avoid this speculation. I be, no, no, no. I, well, 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 this is the danger. They tell you now, say, this is okay, the danger. Okay, I'm not okay, speculating. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Once the, present, the propensity exists, we get for touch the. So if you now can give credence to this process, where we the challenge say, it is not desirable. The figures, the population growth, the last population growth of Sierra Leone, a plus of minus 4.5% per year, you understand, in five years. So if you can say this census, okay, you now look at the plan. Say, if you, you now say the census, okay, you understand? And now later on, if the electoral commissioner come back, say he want to delimitation, then you go get for say, he okay. If you not done the president say they go block system, then you can say, no, you not get right. And that's end is until we don't make peace with them, then they can begin PK fight, say no, and they can't stop it. So this is the point at the talk, say. These people get a mischievous agenda where we need for speak in one voice, okay? <laughs> this is why we get the consortium. When we get the consortium, they look at things from all spectacles. We sit down, we talk together, say, now nah, the roots this way, then people here one go, we are not allow this censor. So if you go on a radio, you say this, you might be right. And once you are agree with them, once you are agree with Dr. Blyden, yes, that we should not leave this process unchecked. If we as a political party, no monitor this censor. Yeah, but but, but lawyer, lawyer, lawyer say, one yeah. thing where you agree with, with Dr. Blyden, I may yeah. be wrong on this, but we take um, the understanding from publications from Dr. Blyden is she supports this process in as much as she went on public media for say, now the president in right. And this is where I was asking you the question from, sir. Well, well now the plaba, now the plaba what that one. If you go say the president get right, no, no, well, she we said it. She's on public record, but you seem to no, 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 can. When the constitution, when, and... when it's not desirable, when it's not logically 
possible for start a census now and conclude them on time using the new electronic method. And then you get the looming propensity. We go the, put the country into this array. If we okay. come from that point, say, as a political party, as an opposition, say, we not think, say, this is desirable. You understand? We not go challenge the authority, say, and besides, I know and if I go tell you now, I say the president not get the open right for Duan, but I go give away. Well, that's, that's our, shall we go to Supreme Court? No, if we go to Supreme we Court, if we go to Supreme Court, there is a big it. No, yes. I get for give yes. all a lengthy final submission. There may be, if we have been on the take note, you go find that you, you touch on every one of the issues then they, but we don't have to go out of time, sir. What a very, very interesting conversation. Um, I set off knowing that the conversation will be interesting, but I not be expecting to say it will be this interesting and we generate over 330 live viewers. We later on, I believe, see for translate to thousands and thousands of people and subsequently we get to this program. And I appreciate this very much because this is exactly what we try to do on the then and now media empire. Provide the information, we go empower people. And tonight, on the 11th of um, April, on Sunday, 2021, we get lawyer Ahmed um, Sisse, we get brother Adams Bangura, and we get brother Imran Toure, where they help we for understand the mindset of Dr. Sylvia Blinden. Not only that, but many other general issues, but Dr. Sylvia Blinden then at the very center of this conversation here tonight. Very interesting conversation. And just so an information for the one that we just join now, or we get for listen later, we not be understand. And begin for things, say it's an all male panel. No, we are not discriminatory. No, <laughs> we still get some gender fluidity if you like for that put and that way. Really. We look for many, many females for this platform, including an appeal and invitation to Dr. Sylvia Blind and herself. She respectfully declined. And we want so much badly on this platform, but I say this is not the right time now. One day, hopefully, she will come on the platform. We get three brilliant gentlemen. You can't have a panel more than this one. Brilliance. Um, brother um, Adams, here's the thing. On the issue of census, on the issue of Dr. Sylvia, the same dancing, if you will like, in inverted commas with the devil. Because I use that because she belongs somewhere, and this is the way it is seen, that this is what it is do. And from the conversation, it all like say there's a general agreement. So, census, the doctor, this distinguished doctor Blyden, agree with the president. The honorable lawyer, I mean lawyer, I got to apologize more than how many times why this okay, thing didn't keep okay. the flow. And no one young lawyer we get for come on the program, probably not just the play on the head. Mm -hmm. Anyway, on a more serious note, um, lawyer Sisse, they say, or almost say, Dr. Blyden right on imposition with this census. Um, Adam, you yeah, provide for me an overview, if you like, on Dr. Blyden, because we're coming to the end of the show. And like I say, we get for give everybody time for make their final submission of um, lengthy time for talk three, four minutes, one person and a book will talk. But give me an overview of Dr. Blyden in position, because this is also aligned with the position that we don't take lately, if you like, in terms of the way how it is tried for promote INSEF to the general public at the expense of a political party we belong to, even though every time when she does that, it always try for yeah, you they say something, oh, okay, they talk. Sorry, he always they still associate himself with the party. What's in the game plan, uh, Adams? Well, um, thank you again. Um, uh, my brother Ahmed don't explain much of the legality as to the rights and its lack thereof um, for the president for call a census. But one thing again, we we for understand that, that not everything we legal can be expedient. If you the talk say you won't forget a census and that you need a national buy-in into the census for development purposes, quote and unquote, then you need everybody 
and buy in. And that's where the, exper the, the expediency comes in. Forget the legality. You need everybody forget a chip into that process. Because what you not want, and for making you lost power 2023, then somebody self can can override that census day. In self can quote say, me self, I get right for make a call census within the next 24 hours. Where would that take Sierra Leone in terms of development? Precedence. It will just continuously lead to the same abuse of process and procedures. All man they try for sure say, I get supreme executive authority. And Sierra Leone does not need that. Not as strong leaders we need, but stronger institu institutions. If the local council acts, what did they try for get through so? The political parties, they don't kick in against that one day in the first place. And you did not even give ears to them. The don't they complain say they've been asking for a meeting with the president. Up until now, president's not able to meet with them. The that they tell you say there is something that is cooking towards this whole process. England know you did so. All local council elected officials that two the political parties that they go, most of them. And then so there's an option for me to go independent. We get the same act that's alone. It gives you an option for me, you go independent. But if you forcefully, you want for cancel people and now say, you then remove local council elections through political parties, people and get for go independent. So eventually, what's going to happen? Now, the central government, the government of the day, they get for the dictate every single thing with the apple now. You get for force people for go to bed now with the government. So, who side the independence can I that person was elected on their own sole merit. Then now it goes in, in agenda to central government. See, this now my agenda, this way I need for my central government to come and forget me too. As per the election, where people elect me, the central government, they say, no, this is what we want to get done. So you don't tie them. So every other person get for the dance to the central government, rather than through the political parties, we go checkmate and say, no, 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 no. This, it then a national interest. This is also a political interest. That's where the expediency comes in. We, I mean, we are a political nation. Now, I make we be a cry for multi party democracy. Yeah. You get your side, I get me your side. Then we look for the commonalities. Now, the yeah. commonalities now in this particular government, not ready for give to the opposition leaders. So now, if Sylvia, you are a member of the opposition party, your party has taken a stand along with. 12 other political parties then they ask for a single thing say now this direction we want to make we go and then you think say you sabi pass every other person we don't take that decision day <laughs> and where lies your loyalty well i mean we're all nationalistic but not tell me say what in the government they do so it's premise on the basis of nationalism i am sorry it's purely politics it is purely politics Okay. We go able for giving a smooth selling to 2023. That's yeah. the game plan. If it's not the game plan, sit down with the political parties, make una map a way forward, una talk on issues, make them listen to their concerns, see how best they can be addressed. Then we all go, we say, now we all don't agree, everybody all learn that we're going to a national census. Yeah. But it's not happening. And now the political party that they don't tell you, we say, then they, they convince their supporters then for make them register or make them participate. Right. So you, now that they tell you about seven to almost million people in Sierra Leone, they only for make sense us go come by estimation and go tell we say, we get 4 million or we get 12 million when, when the number is not close to that. <laughs> so how we go able for you to that figure when another government come in? So this is where even the, the, the statistician general, Malam O, this is where a lot of people are beginning to call his credibility to question. As much as now your area of expertise, you are also advising the government, but you also as an expert, you won't forget a census that will be credible where everybody will see say it is free from political influence. It may have all of his good intention, but hey, we're a political nation. We're a political nation. More will not, more will not forget about those facts. And some yes, of the earlier yes. steps that way the government don't take it don't agree towards that particular direction day that something is cooking. And this particular census, it is skewed towards that in direction. Okay. So Sylvia, if you say 
you are through and through APC, you stand by your political party, I think say the best thing you can do, go provide you expertise within. Uh -huh. Go provide you expertise within and then make you see how best we go able for collectively take up on this issue for fight. But you cannot, you know, they leave the government with all of their excesses. You know, they take critical positions on them on so many issues lately, where you seem to be taking issues with either your parties or going against the object of your party. Now, you cannot serve two masters. They choose whom you may serve. Okay. Imran. Yes, sir. Taking a cue from Brother Adams, with all of the excesses of the ruling party, the Honorable Dr. Sylvia Olayinka Blyden, not seem lately with all, all of the excesses, take that down, and not seem for they take issues with the ruling party. To some respect, it seems for they even side with the party, if I understand the brother very well. So some of the position that we don't take as such with the census, we are asked the honorable lawyer on the platform we don't deal with and ask Brother Adams as well we don't deal with. On the issue of the yes, but in a complex issue and it's open to interpretation if I can take directly from the honorable lawyer. But here is the thing. There are also social connotations to all of these things the way they happen. And that I don't understand from the panel here this evening. Usai Dr. Sylvia Blinden belong and waiting at the signature thing between, between Una, okay? And this saying, he who comes with equity must come with clean hands. And this is not the problem or for be the problem of the national discussion that we get when they bring or drive this um, identity politics between us. What say you, Imran, as we come to the end of this program? A hey brother, where you they talk, where we landed lawyer they talk, where me brother, brother Adams, when a politician they talk, I'll be they listen and I'll be they try for comprehend everything where then they talk about. You know, me and a man we like language. Language not thin way controversial, and language self get rules. From the issues that when they talk about, the president, the power, where, they, where Sylvia the claim say. They get it right where the lawyer clearly say that is where the comes falls. The last thing I check on, he say me. He not say the president. He say the president me. He not say must. When you say me, that means there are okay. clauses then, there are conditions that he, he has to meet. Yeah. yeah. And in English language, where you not leader, the word leader. That means say they lead people and they behind you. But if you turn behind now, you don't see people and behind you. You for take notice <laughs> and wait till they can't join you. But if you say where you they lead, now you know more they go. Then you're not a leader. That you not a lead. You don't say a leader. So if you're not a leader, you don't turn behind you now. All the political parties them don't tell you for say they don't make a consortium. They don't agree with this thing here. But you still know they take it to what they try for say. Then you, credibility, you know? But you see the man, they interview and then this day, yeah, with president. The journalists say, it's you and the, you predecess on a party. Yes, you don't have to be friends. But when I get forget, a cordial relationship, working relationship. You hear a sarcastic remark where he give a journalist, he say, you and your boyfriend, Unana Padi. But I'll be wish if I mean I be the journalist, I for be sending the question back to Ransi. You don't open a kind of form. As you don't say that, you and your wife, your ex-boyfriend, them, Una <laughs> Padi, you know, because it, it, it was a very reckless talk. You know, people and get for be very mindful when they, they talk. And politicians, they're not for be known for sarcasm. Now, people, their life, who are they deal with? Now, people, their lives, who are they plan for? Now, people, their lives, who are they manage? So, if you can't can they you sarcastic, you uh, uh, um, patronizing and condescending, 
you then left a bad example for the population for Fala. And for the lady Sylvia said and not support her. We all know how volatile and how haphazard everything they are at the moment. Even at Eskoroma, the people and they after the man in life. Instead of them are caught with them. How you will expect the man to support you when he said them popular? Then they pram pram himself. You know, sometimes we get to take a step back and ask ourselves certain questions them. You then are caught, you then are self. And as from other in and out of, uh, 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 um, um, how you call yourself, the anti corruption waiting, in one grain, get for talk to lawyer them, they get for this. Instead of getting in trouble, at some point, all monkey get for all the So the, the old president with the only own team, they try for mind in your own appears. Then give you party lawyer that you say you don't want them, a Charles Maga you want. Then what else you would expect them to do? You know? So my own point to me, the making I feel to say, I did talk to Sylvia, where even though I am a bit unhappy with them at the moment because of the actions then, where it will take, I still get believe, say, it gets potential. And me, they try to tell and say, with that potential, the way it gets, it gets for land, one thing where my papa teach me. Mother man get for land for picky battles then, very wisely. They get for look before he leap. Because at the end of the day, now only one person is suffer now, yeah. now him. Because if you blame an escroma, say an escroma, neglect them and not support them, it cannot be true. Me not a party of an escroma, me not a party of Sylvia. But me not say the government is a pram pram and escroma, self self say it's couple. Then they can go to the anti corruption. So it's have got a battle where they fight. How you expect the man for abandon you, abandon your own battle for Kaka support you? Then get mechanism now the APC where they deal with anything and they then get a young lawyer. There. So if you reject them lawyer, then, they, then what else do you expect them to do? But at the end of the day, looking at it, me just they talk to him, say, this party here, where he grandpa's support, where he support, where he always, one thing where he go get him, he always de manifest a love for the party. If you so let the party, you get for really take caution in the things them we the talk. Are you hearing me? Did you hear me? Would they hear you? I don't know for the host. Yeah, because it looked like they talk, but me not yeah, the in, in it for okay, me. I see why board, the board are not really get me. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. You know. Um, so but I even wait up you say sorry for budging, but you get your final submission where you can make. We've gone deep into this program. And the way I receive now, you know, all this male energy, that means we can go another three hours. But fortunately, unfortunately, we will get for come to an end. And we gradually they come to an end of for this program. But we get the final submission from we three panelists them this evening, and that will come shortly. But I mean, just want to let Fambule understand, say, that Mr. Cherno Alpha M. Bar of the Africanist Press, the man we don't pull the greatest revelation of our time in terms of expose, if you want to call a whistleblowing and many other adjectives that we can attribute unto, will be on this platform. This time, we will talk about the independence from 60 years ago. All waiting we don't achieve, whether we achieve or not, where we are and where we're going. We still they try to make up that panel day and the structure, but waiting we know is Mr. Barr, chairman of Bar of the African Express, is going to be here. We they look for female that we want to partake in that program day. It might be a, a calling program. So if you're a female out there, 300 of them are to watch, and all the other ones are there for watch, contact we. There are many contacts for we. Then and now media empire at gmail.org. Then and now media empire at gmail.org. Now one of the email addresses or the simple one, only one, the number only one prints at yahoo.com or 077 
401010725050. If you they call from outside, you want to partake, not forget for put the code USA belong, USA day, which is um, plus four four. Okay. Thank you very much for watching here tonight. I know none of you are disappointed. Here we are, Fambulem. Today, the 11th of April on a Sunday, 2021, having a real good discussion with three perfect gentlemen in terms of the conversation, centered around a very, very powerful woman. As soon as I can see in the background, a don't wine and dine with Sierra Leonean royalty, even beyond. And that's not the kind of picture we see in the background. But she seemed for don't turn against a man we at one time in not chest for the protector. He say all kind of things you know in favor of him. Whilst they be there on the back pedal, but suddenly she has now a different position, and will be there attempt for understand why now, why this position at this critical time, and we get them three people that we can help we for understand. And there is many more to come. Like I say, the platform or the media empire they move on. We get Mr. Supermed Kamara, Mohammed Kamara, we can always host the Saturday program inside Salon today, now the then and now media empire platform. We also get Dr. Um, Mr. Melvin Metzger, we can also they host a program on the then and now media empire on every Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Um, GMT. Not forget for attend to them program the day. Recently, we don't acquire the services of Border Cashbox, that famous uh, name. Cashbox, Alfred Sanko, we can talk about their economic problems. He also now has a platform on this day and our platform and the broadcast from here. So we are moving. We they empower with people them with the messages. As we they understand the political structure, because we know say, and this is no personal. If our government, government of any shape or kind, is not delivering for the people, it is our business for call out such government. And that's what we are doing here. Responsibility for deliver for a people. If they cannot deliver, then we must advocate for reform. There has to be some kind of a reform. And that's what we are calling for here. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are having Mr. Imran Toure, Mr. Adams Bangura, and lawyer Ahmed Sisi on the platform here tonight. And we're about for end. Um, Brother Adams, here we are. We don't come towards the end of the program. In fact, the end of the program. And I look for a final submission for encapsulate this entire evening what we have been talking about the woman at the center, the relationship, the legal consequences, the moral, the party lines, and etc. Dear, give me a final submission, if you will. But I you yes, okay. my, my final submission will come um, um, as a form of um, advice to Sylvia, that's if, if um, he choose for listen and understand, say this way it did do so, it's not doing a favor to the party, um, not even to him personal self, but other than the fact say it hurt in your very ambition and to a large extent, it is well a long-term relationship where it don't be with so many people. And one key area of that will be an area of trust. That is to say, people will find them very difficult for making them trust and going forward with so many other issues if you continue this pathway it is so. Um, I do understand and share some of the concerns the way it gets, but there are internal means we go able for seek redress. It still gets access to an escroma and so many of the people the way it gets issues with. I rather may offend somebody if he thinks say she is that hot, make it meet them people and they may it go spill in blood day or in concern day. Then, then go reach outside them for reach for make them get a final settlement into this issue. It's not helping her other than the fact say it they expose her to so many things. And one thing we we forever understand that forever knows we are a political nation. 
The only people we go find some of their exposés, they are quite interesting. Now they're all in party government and they are sympathizers. Now they're no more now they will find them very pleasurable for listening to, and then they begin to understand, say, oh, you don't get CV in audio, you don't get CV in audio. But to us, as people we now in good people and as comrades, it is not helping. They still get a talent where the party can tap into. That's one thing you cannot take away from her. And me and I want person way another shy for acknowledge people are talented. Because um, very often times we need to do that in our country. When we think say, people are talented, we they become timid with their presence. Acknowledge the fact that she is gifted in her own way, but also she can be destructed if not contained. That she can be destructive if, if not contained. She's a comrade. She has worked for Anis by Kuruma. She has a personal relationship with the former president. It is never too late. Now in Big Brother, as he can always say, APC remains her party. She's a darling of the party. She is a daughter of the party. You cannot question her APC-ness in any way. But just because you are APC through and through, no means say uh, some of the damages that we they cause, not get a far reaching consequences. They do have. On the area of the censors, with some of the stance that we it don't take, I think say uh, it gets an insight, but that um, insider perspective can best be made use of within the political party where it belongs. And now the consortium with the all on country together for making them speak with one voice. You know, rather than say if you will cook for Jama, Jama go eat. But if Jama cook for you, why well, you need to even begin for it. At the presence of the food alone, it don't make you don't be full straight away. This not a one man battle. You cannot go solo and then fight there. So I would advise um, that to pick up the phone. May it stay, may it step back and give peace the chance, especially to the comrades that would not reach out to them. And understand, say, people get for make audios either for or against. But it not necessarily means say if somebody make an audio, you can't cost me because I disagree with you here, not mean say that you necessarily send her. Probably the person just gets a personal liking to you and think, say, what thing I would not say about you. It's hurtful to a point that anger for big fans or can't for you. That is politics. And when you're not a public figure, a lot get for be said about you, or you get for be thick skin to a point that sometimes you get for ignore. It not necessarily means just because you ignore, that means what they say about you is not true. It is not. So my parting final word will be, I hope she listens, give peace a chance to the people who don't extend an olive branch to Ram as comrades or make it come back within, can provide the expertise where we all sit down and see how best we go able for take this battle. Because trust me, if you say you go solo, an APC defeat, not all again for BC to will be detrimental to our nest, but even Sierra Leone stand for lose out. We are then this how the president to do a media talk. A lot came out and a lot left on, on said. A lot came out and a lot. Because we make the president the good tell you see what they ask her about the unnecessary attacks on the auditor general. He go tell you see, if you say not the sorry for who did they attack him with? Or who did they attack her? That means say you don't give a passive endorsement into the actions of your surrogates. Yeah. The attack of your wife or on your wife may well be, you know, unfortunate to some to a certain extent. But, but you know, we we'll use that as a cover up for making you not know, protect other people simply because you've been attacked and say, where I be the opposition, I never got justice. So because you know we get justice in opposition, that means say the likes of Sylvia and others do not forget justice simply because they're not opposition members. So nobody will be left untouched if we not come together for CC. We mount up the necessary pressure, 
then we come up as real opposition parties for make we begin to take the government head on <laughs> on national issues, give the people reasons why they for believe in the APC party once more as the only way out for Sierra Leone 2023. Thank you. Many thanks, um, um, Brother Adams. Um, um, Brother Imran, here is the thing. Um, well said by Brother Adams, but it sounds like a poignant appeal to Dr. Blyden. And it sounds again to me like um, there is an opportunity, there's a window of opportunity for Dr. Blyden. Hence, my question to you directly on the basis of your final summary, which is, Dr. Blyden on pulling gloves off, I think this is my third time I say this, and when you hit for the hierarchy of the party, although you get your game plan, but there's plenty of damage being done. Is there a point of return? And I think that's my question basically to you. Is there a point of return that, unless by Coroma, is the man calling the shots? Let's not mince our words. He's calling the shots. After all, it's no speculation. Now, in the chairman and leader of the party, Dr. Blind and not pulling gloves and punching big. Is it intentional? Say, if I punch big, then I will be seen and recognized and get what he wants? Or is there so much damage being done and there's no way of a return like the prodigal daughter, if you were like? What say you, um, Brother Imran? My brother, that woman, then a good queer woman, there's a parable we say, who that's the way ashes, then ashes the fella. Not to Aneskoma to way ashes. Aneskoma on his, is on his way out. He has served the country. Whether I like him or anybody like him or dislike him, he did in history now. She is young, dynamic. He gets a lot of future ahead of him. The question is, he prepared for throw it all, just yeah. for make the area. The very Creole man say, or particularly long pass master. No matter how, an escroma gets influence. And he gets supporters them. At some point, he gets for go drop a letter and say, Pa, Naya Ade, I need your support. That man, they can help him. But you know what? Sometimes, when you're young and boisterous, you know the hairy, you the feel to say you must sue them, can do them for you. But sometimes, and especially when it comes to politics, politics, not to um, sprint, na marathon. Not to 100 meters race, na marathon. If you pull all your speed at the beginning, you not go down the race, so Sylvia. You get for be strategic where you run. Tay, you go down 20 mile. Tay, you go 23 mile before you begin the pull speed. If you pull all your speed at the beginning, you go lost power. You could suddenly begin to turn the end for see who overtake you. Now, so they're going to overtake you because you don't mago mago. And I go give him an example. We then are this country where a very powerful conservative bomber and politics, when they call hazard time, he never will be awake. He mago mago. All the company will be afraid. Jeffrey, how they all day? And they're afraid for pulling dagger for Margaret Thatcher. He talked for saying that him, not the bomber, he go rustle and down. He pulled the net. He succeed, but he not benefit the seed because all my freedom are not conservative. And the only thing that the way Michael Azalta not ever achieved for be the leader of conservative. And I not be the only conservative person we believe in social justice. Where if we don't make the party so powerful, now into the Docklands, now you all, you do so much for this country. Because I'll be a long serving trade and industry minister. But that never way pull by Margaret Thatcher publicly. It caused them big damage. So me they talk to me own sister, blinding, we are not sabi. Kriyoman say, you better not get calendar, but you know when 40 days. 40 days, not day yet. Team up now, you tick. To map the humbly and wait less until die. Not in order. If you hear it, it's good for you. For when I hear it, she is going to hear it stone. This is not time for APC for fate. This is not time for APC for consolidate, for regroup. Because then get a battle ahead. We all see the mistakes. A whole president, they tell journalists, say, 
in and the a predecessor not to party because uh, um, he tell the journalists for say you now all your ex boyfriend and you now you party with. How low can somebody be? That is the kind of person where APC get for fight with. Then you they come out now, you they drain APC from the NIG, the very party where you say you love. You know, there is another saying, "Why well, go put it before you?" The same way where they make bitter leaf bitter, then they make sugar again sweet. Take ten. Because you all not go sweet to a bitter, you go bitter. And bitter leaf, you know how long they get for rubber for make it become edible. And even before it's edible, they get for mixer with other leaf them because it's still bitter. So please try for sweeting the party, Sylvia. And make you your rain when they beat you, make you turn to sugar cane. Now, the word that, Lonta. Yes, brother Imran. Um, many, many thanks. Um, um, normally, it's a tradition on this platform for read. Um, we try for be interactive in many respects by bringing people in, either by call or waiting and they contribute to the chat room and read them out and become very personal, like a one to one. We'll not be able to do this because this conversation be so have been so intense in different respects. Yeah, but I'll pick up one or two, and this is from a sister, Esther Toker, and this is at the very end. I just look there and pick them up um, randomly. The APC is an opposition, and most of the beneficiaries are quiet for reasons best known to them. This is the reason why the leadership should take the issue of silver very serious and act fast uh, and act very fast to resolve Sylvia's concern at the soonest. Yeah, and there are many more other things. I mean, I think say, the same sister went on to say, we as APCS still have room for damage control. Please stop the social media abuse. We all need to be in the struggle of the APC and etc. cetera, et cetera. Brother Alimami Kamara talks about Blyden cannot make the APC lose elections. She's just trying to gain audience um, and, ma and many more. Um, let me just come to the final thoughts to um, um, the lawyer um, on the platform, lawyer Ahmed um, Sisi. Sir, uh, there is a famous English saying that he who wields the knife can win the crown. Sometimes it's the opposite. Where are we, sir, with Sylvia? Well, me, first of all, we APC, you get some call. Co I just want to let know. Let this thing not get carried <laughs> away. I know I let you feel say this is not for bring issue. We don't defer to come back together. Uh, now, APC member, uh, she's, she's still one of us. As a reminder, you just need for looking name, doctor. The philosophy, the, 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 the Greek word for doctor, somebody who is perfect. But put that aside. And she's a beneficiary of the order of the local, Sierra Leone's highest and most prestigious decoration, reserved for recognized Sierra Leoneans who have distinguished themselves by making valuable contributions to the country. OOR. Now, yeah, when they give you MB, yeah, they give you uh, an, uh, they denied you by the queen. You don't become an, a public figure we all man for look up to. Not they reply them, but what they would it go after you in a social media, listen to yourself, no reply them. And they tell you, President Koroma, not to send them people then in a social media. No premise your argument based on, say, na, unless they send in puppy them to me for cost me. No. And as Koroma is so popular within the APC, anybody who attack can be you right or wrong, then they go after you. That is the hard fact way no one, if Posse not tell you this, not to your friend. Be you right or wrong, we attack an SD. I know serious that you to do is very popular within the APC. We attack and people and they go after Big you. Time. Okay. So that is one. And then for the gee credence, no comment on anything where these people are doing. They're not your friend. They don't humiliate you. Then don't do you the worst thing way some of us even have archive dossiers that might end up in the ICC. Do you understand? For gross inhumane human abuse, for malicious prosecution, for a whole lot of things they did to you that do not stack up according to human rights standards. Okay? So not look at the law. You give them the, 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 the literal meaning. You know? 
when they say such a time that the president may determine, it is the literal meaning and the court has the right to depart from a literal meaning if it leads to manifest absurdity. It may or may not. The court, nada side, that auxiliary verb, nine then they go determine. See, in no, in no timely. Then they look at the purposive. So the literal meaning where you rely on, the court can depart from them if it leads to manifest absurdity. If it leads to the country, they look at the economy. If it go against public interest, the court may depart from them. So not look at the law on a literal meaning. You come inside. Even us, the lawyers, seek entangled me. So please, in as matters related to legality, yes, you, you're very smart. I've been, I went to see you litigating in front of the highest court in the land, Supreme Court, on your petition against Mother Bio. I mean, forget about the contents of your case, the rules, your articulation, the everything I was so proud uh, for, see, a woman from Sierra Leone, a woman, a lay person, a litigant in person, litigating in front of the highest court in the land. I was so proud being a Sierra Leonean, you know, I mean, I know say yes, possibly when I lay person, the highest court, Supreme Court. So that's my advice. You can't throw the issue of uh, 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 the, the thing they're within at the floor. The census is just one tiny bit where they loom around. When Brother Imran, they say, Boku cloud they are around Sierra Leone in terms of a political dispensation. The, 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 the legislation, the way that people lay down points, including constitutional review, a constitution is an entrenched instrument where we demand a referendum for any changes. Then they go against constitutional review when at the ground norm, when at the sacred documents. If you start forgetting rights, Naya, Timara, to God, then they go before mm -hmm. and before and ahead. So please, Refrain from that. And let me tell you, this is how people will perceive your, your animosity and all chances. Then go we'll say this is one scatter APC, one poil APC. They will not see who side you come off from. In terms of the, the executive illegality or not, me don't tell you, say, even the one they were in a court, they tell them, say, listen, guys, if really we want to waste, we don't want to move ahead, let us move ahead to the convention if you want to put them people there. And this is something I can tell you for free. My engagement with President Kuma has assured some of us over and over and over that I am going to leave, I'm going to resign. I'm not, I have no intention to proceed. But you cannot say this to every exuberant litigant who already forget the particular court. But I just want to tell me, me family, the way they listen, see, the, on the, 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 the political party in a salon, we not look to disputes and Sonko Sonko and trouble when I write them off. SLPP was in this position 2017, 2016, fighting with Yom Keller, not, uh, not for coming inside the SLPP. If someone asks you, you will say a, a zombie invasion was like, highly likely than SLPP winning the elections. But when the time reach, they fed, then go back, then, then, then come together. 2007, 2000, up to 2000, we came for vote 2007, 2006, February, we were in court with some of the litigants. Uh, the late AF Seri Kamal, God bless his soul, with other people then. We already, we, we, we solve them. But let me tell you the difference. They never went personal on social media. Social media not been did internally because some of the thing and they, some peace they where they make, to God and this day, you go say, we go say, you see, I always, I'm always guided by the scriptures. I'm a very religious person. I'm an imam. The Quran, and I'm, let me just quote this. The Quran, the version say, what an sauna fadla bainakum. Even when you part with your wife, remember the good things that have existed. You understand? So please, whenever you depart with somebody, the good things then are the first you put before, before the bad one. And just take and say, okay, People and they wait and don't fend them, blah, blah. People and they then don't do you the worst thing. And then when you come, just when you feel safe, they turn you Arsenal to the party. We do you this grievous and uh, 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 egregious uh, and, and, and human, abuse, uh, uh, human rights abuse. You decide for turn the canon to a political party. This is how Abaja Street will see it. This is okay. how Eastern will see it. So do you, I beg you, I beg everybody, 
We all na one. We all na APC. Hey, some people le Ushebo we get the Mamikos department na APC. We get the mediation <laughs> department. They get the ones who they go na court. So we we then at the mediation department. Okay. Um, um, thank you. I've been saying that the last submission is, but of course, the rest no, it's not a big deal. It's just a one answer, yes or no. Dr. Sylvia Blinden, you get your way back into the party. It's a yes or no. Um, is she able to make up for the damage because there's a lot of damage done? Yes or no? Adams? You, yes, you mute. Come again. Okay, I mean, they say, you know, that'll be the last submission I will make, but I just want one final answer, which is a yes on government or on synopsis or pin checked or whatever. Dr. Sylvia Blinden, in terms of what they talk about the damage, she's done a lot of damage and continue to do the damage, and we know where she's heading. But from waiting on an all on speak on, it seems like there's a reconciliatory tone for a lot of damage has been done. And Dr. Sylvia Blinden, if I can go by your perception of harm, Sylvia only listens to Sylvia. Is there a way back, yes or no? Well, there is, no. There is a way back, as I say in the closing part. Um, there is a way back. OK. Um, I guess for I first... say yes, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I take that to be a yes. I don't yeah. mean for stop you. I mean, first of all, make them quickly. So there's a way back, and family understand that, and we can develop that argument there. Imran? Obviously. You know, there's no, they're not, they're saying. Okay, they okay, say Imran, the great, the great Imran, thank you so much. <laughs> um, um, lawyer Wuri, <laughs> yes, no, you sound very reconciliatory, very, you, you know, encompassing the entire argument for embrace Dr. Blyden. And maybe people like you understand where you're coming from, but much damage is being done when you they punch on that level there, including the man who see is still with Nami background. Is there a way back, lawyer Sise? <laughs> I, I get two answer. Let me give us answer of one me comrade. That's the lawyer's position. <laughs> on, on, give you, okay, go ahead, sir. I will give you the answer of me comrade, uh, Honorable Almami Kamara. Yeah, he said, short, quickly, yes, he said no, 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 no. That is Almami Kamara. Okay. But me, they tell you, say, not to we hot, not to the party hot. Now, now we leader and chairman in hot. But I will tell you for free. I've seen people. We don't hurt Anes Koroma pass how Sylvia do so, we he forgive. So I just they hope say he no go further. I've seen people the way they reconcile. I am not saying forgiving times he is so wrong no, 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 right. all due respect, sir. So there is a way, there is a way, there's a way back. I mean, there's a great damage done. It's, it, it's, it is not, it is not irrepia. It is not irreparable. Okay, so it's, uh, it's, it's repairable. Okay, yeah. that's all we wanted. And Fambulem, um, it's been a great conversation. Because there are many things we will not touch on. Like um, um, lawyer CC, you get a video with a train on social media, we're not even able to ask you about. Fambulem called me, you ask him what he be mean and who's kind of damage and what have you. I'll be able to ask you. But in the time we will ask you, and we get the illustrious son of the soil, you know, um, um, brother Adams Bangura, um, very eloquent, um, um, outgoing, outspoken, and well connected. And uh, brother Imran Tui, never, never short of surprising me. And you know the way you can set me off with all the nervousness in conducting the program. There, you can make me so sad too because you make a very. Bitter leaf. I want for the leaf analogy. Everybody the, else. The, 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 yeah, bar. but. We not forget, we get checked. One of the greatest guys ever in our history. We know say we don't get by Bure of um, different times. The by Bure of our time, where they fed the hot tax war, is Cheryl no Emba, and you go there on this platform. We still need to try to find a panel representative because what you want to talk about now independence 60 years on, where were we? Where are we and who's are we the head? Now we want to talk about so they look for a great, great panel. But what we know is Mr. Cherno Alpha Ember will be on the platform. We also get on the 23rd um, a former APC Minister of Gender Affairs, Madam Aisata, former uh, parliamentarian, will be on this platform. I can assure Una. Yeah, so the then and now they do all it can to continue for bring information to where people live. Brother Adams Bangura, Brother Imran Ture. Brother Ahmed Sisi, I can't express my gratitude enough at UNA participation here tonight. I'm so thankful of all of UNA 
and the conversation is on and we get for continue for organize and not only organize but mobilize as well because when the leadership the politics of leadership is not all going well it's not meeting the needs and wants of our people then definitely that politics they need transformation nobody will disagree nobody will disagree and as opposed to and on that basis day i want to end the conversation with um tonight just like how we begin we begin with um, um saban of 75 jerusalem and i want for end them on the basis of jerusalem and only people that will be there with each time now then go understand where you read jerusalem and i believe say, the panelists then i as i watch them yeah, we are all of the same time. Thank you so much, all on a most serious note. Tonight. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Adams. Thank you, Bola Ahmed. Thank you, Bola Iman. Yeah. Thank you. God bless. Okay, family. this is it. We've come to the end of the program, and I thank you all very much for tuning. There are many more programs coming on on the Then and Now platform um, all through the week. Like I say, the platform don't rise up above many, many challenges, and sometimes people will ask why you call yourself an empire. I mean, ourselves, because it's collective. It is an empire. We need to go look at the meaning. We're not there on the level of others, but that's where we aspire for be. For aspire, it's a good virtue. And today, we can get a very good panel of people and they talk about Dr. Sylvia Blinden on the topic an unstable engineering game plan. Thank you so much and good night to all. <laughs>